Why, hello everyone. How are you doing today, tonight, wherever you're at, wherever the, whatever, whatever day it is or night it is. I don't know. Hey, how's it going? Woohoo! We're back, man. It's grab bag, grab grab bag Tuesday, or my Friday. Yes, yes. So welcome. Disclaimer time. Anyone that is under 21, please leave. Thank you. We will be participating in. I 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 will be. What is going? on? That was weird, man. I don't even know what that was all about. I didn't have anything on. I was having a stroke too. Holy crap. Let's smoke some weed. That scared me, man. Holy shit. Sorry, everyone. Cheers. I know, right? <laughs> like a beer man slinky. You got some good beers. Nice. That's good to hear. I'm going to actually go uh, look around tomorrow. I finally got paid, so... Well, I'll be paid in the morning. Scratching the itch. What's going on, man? How are you? Welcome. <laughs> and thanks for sending that, man. That's awesome. I look forward to seeing your package. <laughs> That's great. No, actually, it worked differently today. I don't know what's up. Gerald, what's going on, man? It worked differently today. I was act I need to get the the boot disk for Windows 10 or any boot disk really. Windows 10 sucks. Hey, Charles, what's going on, man? Right on scratching. So man, we're gonna do uh, grab bag time, man. You got some good, you got some good beers, man. Oh, uh, what'd you get? What'd you get, dude? JC, what's up, man? Hope it makes, I hope it makes it. But I sent candy shock. Oh, nice. Yeah, that <laughs> that's awesome, dude. You're awesome, bro. Uh, that's really nice of you. Hey, what's up, Todd? How are you? I wasn't able to find your uh, beverage tonight. I could not find it. I went to every store to find Mad Dog 2020. It just was not available. <laughs> but I got something else. Everyone was talking about wine coolers, so I went and got one of those. I know, I, I'm going to vomit. I'm drinking on Big Top Brewing Companies in Sarasota, Florida. D, D Clans chocolate peanut butter brown ale, indulgent 6%, and it's fucking tasty. Nice. Oh, man, that sounds great. That sounds really good, dude. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> I couldn't find it. I, I think Oregon doesn't have it. California had it. Idaho had it when I was living in those states, but... Man, if you want. <laughs> Drunken Rampage, what's up, man? Cheers, dude. <laughs> Bamboo, what's up, man? Oh, you got a sore throat. That sucks. That sucks. Well, I was going to do MD20 for uh, Mad Dog 2020 for, um, for Tot because that's what we discussed last night on her chat. Um, but I just couldn't find it, like I said, so... If JC, if you want to send me that, feel free. <laughs> Just let me know what I owe you. <laughs> okay. 
I know. I hope everyone feels better. when It sucks when you're sick, man. That sucks, Gerald. Yeah, get better soon, guys. Trash, or try, talk, get better soon, for sure. It sucks. Uh, everyone's sick at my work, too, and it's like you're afraid to touch everything. You're like, you, you're, you're constantly wiping, putting disinfectant stuff all over the place. <laughs> I spray uh, hydrogen, per hydrogen peroxide and uh, vinegar um, all over the knobs where I clean and stuff. <laughs> I just don't want to get sick. Uh, sinus infections suck, dude. That's when you can't taste or smell, man. Hopefully you don't lose that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bud. A big old fat bud. <laughs> Definitely get well soon, man. Thank you, Tot. <laughs> well, should I do the I, should I do the Bartles and James as a non grab bag and just like do it and get it over with? It's close enough to MD twenty, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Booze and dabs. I <laughs> uh, just yeah, just sort through it. Yeah, let's do this. I'll get this one over with. So it's in a can. Got it in a can. Usually I've seen it in like a bottle, right? I know, I'm crying right now too, having to do this Bartles and James. This is not cool. But it's all good. Honey, lemon, and garlic, cayenne. You said it. That is a great fixer. When you're sick. And elderberry and vitamin C, take those a lot. Take them a lot. So this is, Bartle, you are gonna get entered right now. That beer you did, two videos where you said they weren't going to make any more, I posted a comment saying the snag to snag me one, but I went to my store today and they have it. Oh, sweet, dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they probably made a whole fuckload of it, dude. And they're just like handing it out, handing it out, and people, you know, yeah. I mean, I might grab another one. They're, it's really good. The uh, the KBR is good too. The Kansas one, that's a real, real good one. Oh my god. Hey, Stroke Time, what's going on, man? Welcome. Moonshine and Nyquil, knock that cold out. <laughs> All right, Bartles and James, man. It's in a can. 1984 moonshine and elderberry would be good watermelon and mint wine cooler watermelon and mint gluten-free natural flavors added um bartlesandjames.com okay okay what's the percentage yo four percent that's all it is dang oh my god let's crack it open Smells good. It's very, like, very strawberries. You can totally get that. Oh, yeah. Fruity fruit. Fruity watermelon, I mean. Not watermelon. I don't get any mint, though. No head. Sparkly. Looks like one of those sparkling waters. Carbonated waters. It's very effervescent inside. The bubbles are just sticking all over the side of the glass. It's probably a dirty glass. I don't know. Maybe it's just how it is. Clear as all brilliant, clear as you could be. No head at all. Let's smell. Oh man, you get watermelon, hardcore. You don't get any mint. Just watermelon overpowers it. Let's drink this. It's poppy, carbonated on the on the tip of the tongue. It starts out. On the palate, sends this kind of a kind of a sweet sour kind of. It's kind of cool. It's got a coolness, maybe from the mint. Um, but that watermelon tangs out, sours out in the back and the finish. But goes on real sweet and bright. Uh, I mean, I don't mind it. You know, the carbonation it dries off fairly quick, so you're not really tasting this hardcore foo foo beverage. You know, it's not for the lady, 
you know it's it's for anyone that likes this kind of thing and it's got a lot of a lot of flavor in it compared to those carbonated waters it's a little more duller in flavor um this is really really nice it's not bad it's easy to drink for what it is out of out of five i can't even say hops because it doesn't have hops uh, out of five i'll just give it a let's just say three and a half but you know not bad now I gotta pound it. Did you guys want me to pound it? I think you wanted me to like take three shots. All right, here we go. Three shots. Pound it. <laughs> oh, mint all drink. It's like cool, but you don't taste the mint. It's just that cool feeling. What's up, Rita? <laughs> Cheers. I can't. It's too poppy and carbonated. It's like a soda pop. Man, to mix this with a malted beverage is going to really make me Ralph. <clears throat> yeah. You get the mint in there. I got the mint. When you take bigger gulps of it, you get the mint. Crazy. That's actually good. It's not bad. Caramel apple triple. That sounds really good, man. That's, oh, there's my hand. That sounds really good, JC. Hey, Captain Curry, how's it going, man? Welcome. Tuesday night with the beer man. Mm-hmm. Malt liquor. Hey, Dad, what's up, man? I, you know, I did look at an old E today. I almost got it. I didn't. I didn't. Maybe I'll get one tomorrow. Yeah, let me know what you want me to put on my lives. I'll do these tasters, you know, these reviews and, uh, you know, things that you guys want me to review that you are aware of that you have had before. Then we can compare our notes and, and, and you can see if I'm really telling the truth. Uh, hey, Hardens, what's up, man? GG, what's up? Hello, hello. It tasted like apple pie. I'm sure it did. <laughs> oh, man. Like mouthwash, exactly, Rita. because I was missing everything. Sorry, y'all. Good day's here. What's up, good day? All right. Welcome, bro. How's Australia? Is it doing good for you? You're in uh, Wednesday already. <laughs> this beer, or this wine cooler is going to have to be put to the side. One more shot. I had two. I think I counted two. Screw it. I'm going to take it down. It's just a little. Oh. Oh, God, dear Lord. I can't do that, man. I can't do those. Hot. Oh, yeah, you're summer, huh? You're summer in Australia? <laughs> Excuse me. Eight ball. Old English tastes like crap. I don't like it in my... I'm, I'm a Mickey's guy. I'm actually a Mickey's guy. But I wanted to do an oldie for the show. Um, yeah, Oldie has like this weird kind of a pungent malty weirdness that a funkiness that I get you in the back of the throat. It makes you want to Ralph after too many of them. 
That's what I always remembered of it. <laughs> Depression and Old Spice. <laughs> Uh, the mint is for your breath. <laughs> I'm good with Mickey's too, to be quite honest. <laughs> what did JC say? I've never had an eight ball. Yeah, I went in to go ask for Mad Dog 2020 and everyone laughed at me. I was like, do you have that ghetto stuff? Uh, I actually said, I was like, yeah, you know, some, some kind of a ghetto question. I was just wondering if you uh, had any Mad Dog 2020. <laughs> Don't ask why. <laughs> uh, everyone knew what it was, but they just do not have it. Dick kicker. Dick kicker, malt liquor. Was it barrel-aged malt liquor? Holy crap, dude, that sounds weird. That sounds interesting. Oh, that sucks, Gerald. Mad dog, respect. <laughs> yeah, that stuff's, Rita, that stuff's, uh, whew. <clears throat> It's been a long time since I've had it, like 26 years or so. I think, what was I, 18 or 17, 16? That was longer than that, like 30-something. I'm 45 now, so. I like, I, my IPAs are my favorite. That's my very, 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 very favorite. This is an awesome IPA. And it tastes... Much better than that, Bartles and James. You got f. You got fucked up last night, Bamboo. Oh, how could you? I hate that when you have to refresh everything. That sucks. Lithuanian beer. Wow. That would be a treat to try. Florida never heard that. <laughs> oh, damn, Miss Ladies, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Later, Charles, man. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by, man. Cheer. Oh, I don't have any beer to cheers to you, dude. Hold on, I gotta get one. All right, let's go. Let's do this. I look, dude. I, I can't look. Okay, here we go. tonight hell yeah how's that eggnog doing for you i love eggnog man festivals <laughs> yeah was the eight ball good jc here let's do this all right, guys, I'm going to do another review. Just going to do them all night. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. The kid's down, man. If you're still on, I'll be back. Okay. Okay, Juggalo. You have a good night. <laughs> Is this one of Beer Man's videos or yours? All right, this one's by 5440 Brewing Company. Yeah, have a good night, Juggalo. 5440, they're out of, uh, where are they at? They're at a local to me. Um, 
Washougal, Washington, north of me, north somewhere. 5.6%. It's the Red Zeppelin. It's an amber ale. I like ambers, man. I haven't had an amber in a long time. 5.6%. Easy does it. It's got kind of a cool la uh, label. They uh, support the Independent Craft Brewers Association, so that's kind of cool. Does it have a date? Canned on 11 15, 2019. So it's fairly, fairly, it's like a month old, so that's good. Uh, five, six, not bad for an amber. Let's drink it, let's open. Yeah. I love my IP, I love IPAs. Um, so we got about a finger and a half head. Let's smell it. Yeah, it's just, it's got a nice malty, like a sweet caramely maltiness. It's kind of floral, actually. It has a little floral. It's not really breaking through the foam. I can't get any of the aromas. Let's go to the look. So we got an off-white head, almost like a tan head. Got some good lacing already. It's a uh, reddish amber beer. Um, it is an amber ale. <laughs> it is a brilliant clarity, actually. It's quite nice as far as, like, seeing through. You know, it, it's a darker beer, but I mean, it's very well filtered. And, uh, shit, dude. Got a medium rising bubble. Not too carbonated. Let's drink this. There's some biscuit going on, a little caramel. Um, it's real smooth, real light, smooth, easy drinking, uh, mouthfeel, uh, body wise, it's, uh, it's a light, a light to medium body, kind of a light body actually, kind of watery on the palate, but it throws back this kind of a tangy dryness in the back on the finish, um, just goes on really smooth and I really like, uh, it's, it's actually really nice. has a floral hoppiness to it around the sides of the tongue. One more drink and I'm going to score this son of a bitch. A little carbonated actually uh, on the palate and the tongue. Out of five hops, I'll give this uh, four hops. Not too bad. Yeah, 5440's really, really, uh, really got some, uh, pulled off some really good beers. They have some great beers. And I love the, uh, I love how this all looks old, kind of old, old, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. This looks like one of those old labels that you'd see, like, I don't know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Cool. I did it. How's it going? It's better with your, <laughs> with your beer. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, thanks for being here. I did it. <laughs> it's a. Uh, like a floral hoppy in the finish. You get that, f like a floral. It's not piney or fruity or anything. It's just very floral. Um, but it's mixed in well with this, like, kind of a, like a, like a slight roasted quality. It has a kind of a toasty flavor. I didn't mention that. 
like your typical amber ale should taste. Take Newcastle is a well, Newcastle is a brown, uh, light brown actually. Um, what's a amber fat tire? Fat tire tastes fat tire, and uh, that's completely. Di I love fat tire actually. I don't mind fat tire at all. But New Belgian, it's really good. Haven't had that in a while. It's like a five point two percent. Newcastle's four point eight, I think. But Newcastle went all U.S. They're not even in England anymore. I don't think. <laughs> I think they're in England, originally. Yeah, I like Fat Tire, man. That's a real nice one to drink. This is one of the first ones I ever drank when I started drinking. Craft beer, let's say. They're bigger now, but... Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that, Hardens. You still can get it or can't get it? Well, you said can. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I got a fat tire. Simo, what's up, man? How are you, bud? Todd, you winning anything? Big on your ticket. I got to play a ticket tonight, actually. I have a $5 ticket I just got. And I'm going to use Todd's little tiny coin this time. It had some... Uh, the other one was cool. I love it. It was hard to scratch, some t I, I think, because it was rounded. But the, uh, the little tiny coin has more of like a, a rougher edge. So I think that'll be perfect. Like boom, boom, boom. I love that big coin though. That's sick. Awesome, awesome coin. Oh, you lost that? Uh, yeah. Sucks losing, man. I want to try Heineken in Holland. <laughs> I've heard it tastes better over there in Europe. Because I love Heineken, man. Hanging in there. How's the wife? How's the kids? Simo, how you doing, man? Well, you just told me you're hanging in there. <laughs> yeah, see, Gerald, I like Heineken, man. If I could just make that trip to Amsterdam, that'd be great. Oh, it is? Okay. That's good to know. That it's the same. I thought it tasted different or something. Someone said it doesn't taste skunky over there like it does here, but I thought that was just the way the beer was made. Whatever they did to it or do to it. I like the skunky taste, to be honest. Very clear smells of rum. Oh. And barrel age for sure. Nice, dude. What's the percentage on that? Miscellaneous? <laughs> You might have said it, and I just didn't see it. <laughs> I let, wow, okay. So the head's definitely going to be a little smaller on a bigger percentage beer like that, yeah. That's perfect, though. All that alcohol shreds it down quick. Is it, uh, is it uh, boozy? Does it go up your nose? Do you taste that alcohol? Since this month, everyone are busy for preparation this coming Christmas. Maybe you were a friend of Santa Claus and I have a chance to receive the gift from Santa with your side at this moment. <laughs> well, I, I, I would have loved to have been Santa Claus. I would have been immune to all the sicknesses that the kids would have given me. There was only two of these on the shelf, but one for me and my chef who actually makes a real coquito, uh, coquito, coquito, 
But it's not real boozy, not real sick. It's really nice. Nice, that's great. So it's dangerous, huh? It's a dangerous beer. It does taste fresher because it's brewed in Holland and shipped to you. Yeah, that's what I heard with Heineken. Yeah, that's that's all I heard. Is, it's just fresher. It's on the fence when you knew about it. It's like a Puerto Rican eggnog style beer. Oh my God, dude. Creamy and almost cinnamony with rum. Wow. That's cool. Hey, B-Movie, what's up, man? Digging the hoodie you got. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Right on. Yes. <laughs> still skunky, though. Oh, it still, I like the skunky, though. I like that. That's what makes Heineken Heineken, in my opinion. It distinguishes it from all the others, right? It's just the, how it is. I like St. Polly Girl, too. That's a really good one. That's, uh, yeah. And back. I like back, too. Backs, too. That's really good. I like really, I really like backs. Corona's good. Not bad. Yeah, a little skunky, yeah. Uh... Right, exactly. Then they should have put it in black bottles or like brown bottles, like the rest of them. Green light's gonna get through that son of a bitch. And then Newcastle, they have theirs in clear bottles. And before they were sending them from England or Scotland, you know, UK, um, so that's not good. <laughs> I guess if they're putting them in the boxes, there's not going to be any light on the beer, right? But what about the 22s or the 40s? Well, they don't do 40s, but... Yang Ling? It looks of Yang Ling. Yeah. <laughs> Yang Ling. Something like that. It's a great pull. I love Polish. I've had some good Polish beers, man, already. Um, Zywiek? 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 Pacifico. I got to try Pacifico now that you said that because I thought they kind of tasted similar, but like Corona and that. Uh, I got to write this down, dude. Come here, come here. Okay. So, Zywick. I'll just call it Zywick, that sounds cool. Written down. I'll mention it to, to uh, Jeff at my local bottle shop. Yeah, I haven't had Newcastle in a long time. Fat Tire, though, going back to that one, that's a real good beer. I really like Fat Tire. I, I almost want to buy, like, some of that, actually. Zuezica. 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 I actually like good old Guinness, man. I think Guinness is pretty good. Twenty First Amendment Brewing Company is really a uh, really good company, man. They put out some really good beers. El Soli from Twenty First Amendment, really good, easy drinking Mexican style lager. Yeah, that's local. It's good. Dude, I can't wait. I I'm, I I know I say this a lot, but I can't wait to have a panel. I want to talk to you guys about beer. This is a fun conversation. I love Guinness Expensive, though. Oh, yeah? Is it? I've never paid attention to the price. <laughs> I usually spend about 10 bucks a six-pack every night. And I'm getting meat, so it's like $20 a night. I don't know how the hell I afford that. I really don't. A lot of times I'm recycling, though, and getting my money there. So, Grace by God, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> one ounce drought. One ounce drought's good, really cold, though. Nice. Good. Guinness one ounce drought's good, really cold, though. Right on. Yeah, Gerald, I did. 
I wrote it down. Look, is it called, is, I think Hardens, you said that it was pronounced Ziwoeka or something like that. Is that, that's what I wrote down though. I'll look it up. I'll talk to my bottle shop dude. See if you can get it. Oh, dude, it's going to be cool as fuck, miscellaneous, dude. It is going to be cool. I promise you, man. And my desktop's going to even be working soon, so that's going to be even stronger than my laptop. I can't wait to have, like, multiple cameras, man, and stuff like that. It's going to be so freaking awesome. Looking forward to this shit. You had some puff and saw... You, I saw me live right on. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to smoke some right now to you. To everyone. Mozeka. <laughs> Zuezeka. <laughs> You smoke marijuana as well? I do, B-Movie. I do reviews, too, whenever I get something new. <laughs> I usually grow my own weed, though. It's legal in my state, so... It's all good. I've been smoking weed for, like, 26, 27 years. Well, since I was... Yeah, since I was a little one. <laughs> Not a little one, but... Seventeen and a half, yeah. We'll say that. Zivyats. Zivyats. I like that. That sounds cool. Zivyats. Oh, so you're in are you in Canada? You're in Canada, right? That's awesome. Can't see that's really cool. And they're pushing to have it here. They I've mentioned it before, but they they took it off. They voted in to get it off the schedule one. So, uh, we're we're slowly getting our legality here nationally. Hell yeah, grace by God. That's awesome. That's I love Canada. All you Canadians are awesome. So many good Canadian friends. I I like a mix. I like the one to one uh B movie. I like a sativa indica hybrid, kind of just both 50-50, um, or it kind of depends on my mood, right? So like in the day, of course, you're going to take a little more of a day timer. It's, you know, they're not all speedy. Some of them are, are creative, right? It all depends on like how that sativa works in your mind. Uh, indica, the same way. Sometimes you get fucked up where you, you're having anxiety attacks from, anxiety, from uh, indica, uh, too strong an indica and uh, it don't put you on the couch <laughs> it just depends on uh, people's minds I think but no I I like a 50 50 that I, I go with that usually and I like a CBD THC also I like a, a higher CBD and a lower t maybe a maybe even like a 12 percent 12 percent or 18 a 17 percent CBD and a 12 percent THC so that I'm still getting a, I'm getting them hardcore randy ass fucking body high, and uh, and then I've got this small pinch of a head high, and it like makes everything just go, boom. like you just went into a, a, a nice a nice sleep. I don't know your body just melts, your mind melts. I just went on a major tangent. Your mom lives in BC. Nice, Hardens. Why marijuana in your country is very legal, but in my country you've got a lot of troubles if caught my my a cop. Yeah, yeah, that sucks. You know, and it's not to get. I don't want to get political or anything, but it it really uh, it really it's not even. I'm not even getting political actually. It just sucks that weed was always deemed this bad thing and. Where it all started, I want to say the U.S., maybe, right? I mean, that's where it gets political. But, Vanessa Kitty, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome. 
How are you tonight? <laughs> 20 years here smoking, except that year I was on permission, right? I've been there, done that. <laughs> yeah. It, it, yes, it was. Miscellaneous for sure. No doubt. I know. My ass. Seriously, dude. Seriously, man. It was scheduled completely wrong, and they scheduled it that way because they knew it was a moneymaker for the country, for the government, for themselves. It was a moneymaker. All these big pharma, they took hold of it. They said, no, it's bad, and they knew it was good all this time. They knew there was nothing wrong with it. They knew there was nothing going on with it. No one's dying from it. Nothing. I mean, uh, even take cigarettes, for instance, you know? You put them into an American's hands or someone else that's manufacturing these cigarettes in a, corp in a corporate level, and they're, put they're tainting them with chemicals. Hey, backseat, what's going on? How are you? They're tainting them with chemicals, and they're, give they're promoting cancer. Uh, they're giving cancer to people. Um, yeah, tobacco, nicotine is probably not all that great for you, but neither is alcohol, neither is coffee, neither is too much black tea, you know, caffeine, this, that. Um, so I don't know. Exactly. George Washington did grow weed. <laughs> and a moonshiner, yep. <laughs> How are you, backseat? Welcome, man. I'm glad you're here, bro. Cheers. I'm just going to kind of... I'm just going to scratch this, but, like, I don't have two cameras, so... I'll just keep talking to you guys while I scratch. <laughs> Got Tot's little... Small coin. Check that out. Hey, Mary, how are you? Welcome. And they are denying the real... Exactly, Bamboo. And it sucks when people look at people that smoke weed and they call them stoners. Oh, you're bad. No, man. I'm not bad. That's just it. I'm not bad. <laughs> Get to know me. <laughs> Gotta go make some vape juice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, moonshine sounds fun to make. I want to get a distiller. So I got this is a five dollar card. Pharaoh's Fortune. It's got three point six one prize payout. One and three point six one. Eighty six, sixty eight percent. American Indian, so it's considered medicinal. Right. See, tobacco, going back to tobacco, though, tobacco, natural tobacco's actually got a lot of medicinal things with it, you know? Both topically uh, and even inside the body. It's when they start putting all these fucking things in there that screw it up. They're going to do the same thing with cannabis when they legalize it here. People are going to get cancer, and they're going to blame it on cannabis. No, we're blaming it. We're going to blame it on the chemical companies who put this crap inside that stuff. The companies that allow this shit. Screw you big companies trying to take over. Anyway, grow your own tobacco. Exactly, dude. Exactly. Grow your own weed. Make your own beer. I do. So I gotta scratch my symbols. Oh, these are the winning symbols. I'll scratch the winning symbols first. <coughs> yep. Hey, thanks, B Movie. I appreciate that. You're awesome, man. Thank you. T tobacco kills. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Exactly, man. So I got 
these symbols. It is a column, snake, chicken, and vase. Let's see. I'm just gonna go across the board because you guys can't see what I'm doing, so let's make this fast. Yeah, I like this little one, Tot. This is awesome. I'm just gonna scratch them all. Hold on, guys. I'll be right there with you. I don't want to scratch the prize yet. It's hard to tell where the prizes are on these things. Shit. All right, let's catch them all. Let's look. I gotta look at you guys' comment. I'm sorry, guys. Um, that's Tiny Top Beer, man. <laughs> that's funny. I've smoked Marlboro Reds from the United States, and my buddy went to Mexico on, va on vacation and came back with a carton of Marlboro Reds, and there they were totally different cigarettes. Wow. Hey, Beer Barbecue, what's up, man? How you doing? Beer Barbecue Baseball. Welcome here, man. Well, I'm glad you swung by. <laughs> and you hit a home run, man. <laughs> you can't grow your own tobacco unless you have like 50 acres and them... <laughs> Them seeds, that's like hops. You have to have a lot of acreage to grow hops. Well, I get a lot of hops. I have like seven hop plants that grow up every year in my backyard. Uh, like four different strains. And it grows a lot like weed, but on, on, a, on a vine instead of, you know, a plant. They get huge. Hey, Born, what's up, man? I'm doing good tonight, man. How are you? Welcome, man. I worked shade tobacco growing up. Wow. That's cool. Those plants are really cool, actually. You'd see them out, like, uh, by the Marlboro Company over in North Carolina in Charlotte. You go by, like, you can see the, the Philip Morris plant out there. They got, I'm sure they've they got places everywhere where they grow their shit. Column. Do I have a column? A snake? A chicken? Buck, buck! I want a chicken. Give me a vase. This sucked, dude. I didn't win. Anything. And this one doesn't even have a, uh, a bonus. Should I try scratching on the head? No, nothing. This one sucked. <laughs> and vagina. Oh, vagina. Do you say, is, is that a name or, or, or you, do you say vagina? The first time I went to North Carolina was amazing. But I know there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them, Jason, for sure. Massive, massive. Oh, I bet. Kentucky's beautiful, man. What did you miss? I lost. I lost my scratcher ticket. I lost a $5 ticket. And it didn't even have a bonus or anything to scratch. Piss off. Right on. Yeah, no, uh, just glad you're good. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill up my tiny pints and fish.
Oh, you want me to do another beer? I could do another beer. I found a stout aged in maple syrup bourbon barrels today. New York, uh, New, uh, New Year's Eve. Oh, Vanessa, is it the CBS by Founders? That's the one that I just reviewed. That had that was a maple bourbon. I won't even. I'll let you figure it out. It's good. Those are good. Hold on, I'll I'll do another beer review. <sighs> yeah, CBS. Um, I I did the review the other like the other day, but no, don't watch it. Wait till you try it and then watch it. This one's a strong one, man. Whew. Damn. This is a strong one. Table and Vine. Is that your local uh, bottle shop? Miscellaneous. They do. That's crazy. That's cool. Yeah, that CVS is uh, something to hold on to. Grab a bottle and let it age for another year and try it next year. I probably imagine you would not want to get caught with dope in missile uh, in uh, Kentucky for sure. What's that behind you, crayons? What? <laughs> Where's the crayons at? Where would they be? Oh, those up there, the bottles. Those, those are essential oils. My wife uh, is part of Young Living, and she, uh, she gets those all the time. So we have a whole bunch of essential oils. Hey, Rose, how are you? Welcome. <laughs> Going to buy a big bottle and just leave. Yeah, I would. Whoops. Damn it. Yeah, I, w I would just leave it alone and just look at it every day. I can't wait till I can drink you and then in a year just have it. And drink it next year like you could even drink it at room temp, right? Just to get the, the real official taste and aromas that you want out of it, you know? So this is number three review. Okay. It's Grab Back Tuesday, man. This is where I get smashed. Have to find me a liquor cabinet beer glass storage. Yeah. Lock that up. <laughs> Don't know why I typed crayons and blame my phone for that one <laughs> today is one of those days where it saddens me people can't get the meds they need i know i know it's terrible let's smoke a little more <laughs> i'm about to open a, a video oh, god victory's great victory puts out some really oh sour monkey nice dude a tri Brett triple? Holy crap, dude. That sounds amazing. That sounds very good. It really does. The only glimmer of hope was the two kids that have been missing since Sunday were found. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's really good to hear. All right, so this is, uh, I've done it before, but I just put a mix of six in the grab bag and whatever comes out is what I review. So uh, Bowie, this is Bowie Beer Company there out of Astoria, Oregon, just up the bridge from me, up the road. Um, it's an IPA, it's their house IPA. 
It's a Northwest IPA. Um, I've had it lots of times. It's a go-to of mine. Hey, Bumpy Roads. What's going on, man? Hold on. I got I to gotta do this for you. I'm going to make you a mod, dude. Hey, uh, how you doing, man? <laughs> um, I'm on my phone. I could do it from my phone from desktop view, but I just didn't do that. My laptop's down right now, so I'm working on that <laughs> from my phone at the moment. Oh, no, Todd, you have a good night, all right? Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Get better. Sleep it up. Cheers. So this is a... Uh, I'll just kind of read what they say, I guess. Uh, Bowie has a really cool uh, brewery, actually. Uh, they just opened Fort George is the other one up the road, and then we have Bowie that just opened like about five years, four years ago, something like that. And uh, they have you walk in and you're on a dock, right, on the Columbia River, and you look through a, a glass and you can see sea lions and stuff down there bathing and basking and sleeping, doing their thing. And then you can go over by the wa the water side windows and sit over there and totally see the Columbia River and across the ways Washington State so it's really cool I love that story a lot like a lot a lot good night Todd but Bowie is Bowie's awesome their IPA is sick as hell uh, it's a 7.5 percent 70 IBU so it's not super 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 bitter like some of those will have like what 75 80 IBUs and even a seven and a half so this this, uh, by the numbers, sounds like a, a well-balanced beer. Um, proud, bold, beauty, full of flavor. This Northwest IPA is proof that you can, is a Northwest IPA, go big without the bitter bite. Nothing overboard. Well-balanced and loving. I didn't read the can before either. Lovingly dry hopped with Meridian and Crystal Hops for rich citrusy f uh, finish. Beer with a backbone, born from a place where a little heavy weather never hurt anyone. So, one finger head, very light, clear beer, almost looks like a Michelob 66, slightly hazy, smells skunky, I'm not sure. <laughs> almost looks like Mountain Dew, hey, that's weird. <laughs> This is a kind of a dangerous beer. No. It's good. <laughs> I wouldn't keep drinking it if it wasn't. Okay. Uh, seven and a half percent. Not quite imperial, but definitely a dangerous, stronger beer. For a, it's actually at a good level for a, a good IPA. You know, um, a six eight to seven two is usually what I search for when I get an IPA. Um, at least a Northwest IPA. Uh, a lot of these other IPAs have different percentages and. They taste like what they taste like, and I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, Range-wise, um, that's usually what I search for, though. Usually when I'm at home, though, and not doing any videos or lives, and I've said it before, and I'll probably say it again, but good night, Grace. Is, uh, I, you know, I, I, I drink slow. You know, I drink, I drink one beer an hour. And I sip on that, watch a movie, chill, water my plants, feed you know, feed my plants, and and uh, talk to my wife, and and sit around and eat, <laughs> smoke weed. Anyway, um, this beer is uh, awesome, actually.
It's got an amber color to it. It's a, uh, a little bit of effervescence in there. There's a medium rising bubble. It's a little hazy. Kind of dull, let's say. Not hazy. A white head. Choppy. Bubbly. Frothy at the same time. Foamy. Like sea foam. Yeah. Nice. Citrus. Citrus and a little pine. Some sweet malts. Some caramel. Very slight, though. It's very uh, balanced smelling, though. It does. It smells really balanced. Um... It's actually uh, kind of, it's smooth. It's sweet. It's got a sweet maltiness to it. It's got the citrus coming out. Fuck. It's kind of complex, to be honest. There's a lot going on. little piney that citrus I'm getting mango I'm getting um <sighs> I got a little grapefruit in that actually grapefruit a little pineapple It's sweet. I've said that already, but it's sweet. It's nice. It dries off in the back in the finish. It's a real hoppy punch in the back of the throat. It really uh, goes over your mouth with a lot of flavor and then dries off. So you get this big, huge punch of flavor and it just dries off quickly. About a 75% of the way down, it starts to dry off. So it really lets you taste it, for sure. Out of five hops. I'll actually give this 4.7 five hops. One to try. One to try. Hey. <laughs> Damn, what did you say, Everbright? <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Beerman, for being the great moderator that she that you are much appreciated. <laughs> Good night, JC. being a a douche oh yeah I don't know I don't understand people just a troll no biggie Yeah, this isn't a grow channel at all. I mean, connect if you want to because it's good. Um, you know, you meet good people and you know, you're chatting here and you want to meet each other. That's cool to each his own or her own, you know. But 
It's not a grow channel. <laughs> man, I really appreciate that, Miscellaneous, man. I really do. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. I, I always look forward to, to my Tuesday night. I always get so tired, though. Wednesday nights are always better. Because <laughs> I had, you know, I was, I'll be able to sleep in until like 10 tomorrow morning. <laughs> Oh, it's all good. I'm actually okay with that, with you know, you're you're a great mod, man. I appreciate it. That's cool. No, I'm not in the mood for trolls, man. This is for fun times, you know. We're here to we're here to chill and do whatever, you know. I'm just doing beer reviews and basically getting you guys entered so you can win something at the end of the month, you know. And it'll be a New Year's gift too, so that's cool, right? Um nah, I'm just I'm just trying to say, hey, man, love you guys. It's uh, check this out, Mary. <laughs> it's a bug. <laughs> oh, man. Good to have you here, Mary. <laughs> I'm off Wednesdays and Thursdays. Oh, okay. see, that's my days. Yeah, that's the days I'm off, too. So this is my Friday night, so yeah. <laughs> Check this out, man. You ever see me without a, a hat? Maybe I'll just leave it off because it's not that bad. I'm get, It's getting hot, man. I had a, on the bill of my hat, my other, my favorite hat, there was a video alive that I did where my head, you know, I went into, I face planted on the corn dogs. My whole hat rim has sauce all over it. <laughs> hey, Sunfish, man, how are you? Man, good to have you, man. Then when uh, you were passed out, that fast off. <laughs> You're off Mondays and Tuesdays, backseat. Okay, somewhat. <laughs> so two. Oh, so you gotta go back to work tomorrow. That sucks. You like that, Mary? <laughs> yeah, it's all good. I'm a middle-aged man. Fuck it. Been on daddy duty, oh yeah. That's always sounding like fun. That sounds like fun, man. I want to be on daddy duty. What are you? Are you a dad? You so you got ki like kids or or like animal kids? We have animal kids. <laughs> I live at work, literally. <laughs> That's how it was when I did web design, man. I just, you know, I worked from home, so that was my office. I loved it. I actually loved it. Yeah, it's not pee to, oh, I, I might, I do have to go pee though. Is it, will you guys hate me if I leave? <laughs> For a moment? <laughs> I'll mute it. Beer dog and beer cat, and that would be plural. Tell her that is at 11 tonight was the employee Christmas party at my place. Assisted living facility the next week. It was busy. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, review time of my pee pee. <laughs> Here, I'm going to go. I got to go to the, I got to go. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Don't leave too soon. I'll mute this.
Hey everyone, sorry. That that was like, you ever you remember the Revenge of the Nerds when they're like, the, the the football guys were peeing in their stall. Like it was like the longest pee ever. I don't know. That was like a really long pee. Check this out though. There's the sauce. From my hat. I mean, I just went down, boom, and it flew off, and all you see is my head. It's crazy. Oh, shit. Of random stuff on your walls. <laughs> there, we haven't even have a picture of Jesus over there. <clears throat> yeah. This is a peacock feather. It'll tickle you. <laughs> Oh, dude. Hey. Ah, get away. I feel like Mary Poppins. All the animals came to me. Because <clears throat> you had a feather. Oh, because I had a feather. The nerd laugh. I know. Extreme. Whoa. <laughs> Backseat. That was a nice, that was a nice comment. Oh, cat. Oh, man. Cheers. Um. Who farted? It was the cat? The cat farted? That the cat farted. I can't even believe this. Look at this cat. Look at this cat. Wait, wait. That cat farted. Almost bumped my beer over, man. Oh. Ah! Cat! I almost sat on the cat! Oh, it scared me. Ah. Ah. That scared the shit out of me, man. Ah. <laughs> so, um, what the hell are we gonna do now? I can throw out some stuff. Never trust a cat. <laughs> no. No, I don't want to do those. Let's get dirty. I was going to do the Cards Against Humanity again, but... I want to get people entered into the contest, though. You guys want to play a trivia game? Let's jam! I want to jam. I just don't want to play guitar. <laughs> I want to play harmonica. Harp it up. All right, let's do it. Hi, kitty cat. <clears throat> nice. Miscellaneous. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Shit, let's see, this is a minor one. This is gonna be all like dark and demented and shit. 
Uh, more, let's see. Up, dude. <laughs> I ran out of breath. Thanks, Bumpy. Thanks, guy. Thanks, Miss Lance. Right on. Let's uh, let's do another one. I got an itchy eyebrow. I need to stand up. You gonna see my ugly thing here?
I really need a, I need a, I need a guitar player. It'd be so fucking fun. Ah, it'd be so fun. I haven't been able to, I haven't had a guitar player in a very long time play with me. So, um, it would be really, 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 really interesting to see the outcome of something like that. I had a guitar player for a while and then he moved to, uh, near Portland. So he was cool. Ooh. Irish eyes, Irish eyes, are oh, smiling. How's that? Uh, I got like Willie Nelson in there for some reason. Oh, that was Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain, or whatever, Blue Eyes. Norfolk, how you, uh, North Fork, North Fork, North Fork Lures, how are you doing tonight? <laughs> you play drums, that's awesome. That's a very good find right there. That's that's good to hear. Awesome, man. Now we just got to find like uh the string players, all the guitarists, then the bass, the the rhythm, the lead. We got something going on. I can sing, but I'd rather not. <laughs> I always get schwilly when I play music, when I jam out with people, man. I swear to God, it's so fun to get schwilly when you're when you're jamming, right? I don't know. I like to get high. I like to drink some beers and jam out. That would be so cool, Mary. If, like if all the connections went well, that would be perfect. That would be awesome. Hey, what's up, Sean? How you doing, man? I haven't seen you in a long time, dude. Oh, that's an old buddy from high school, man. Wow. Good to see you, Sean. <laughs> right on, man. Cheers to that, dude. Cheers to that. Thanks, Sean. I appreciate that, man. Stop on by anytime, dude. Anytime. <laughs> Very good having you here, man. Are you drinking on a beer tonight or what? <laughs> I'm going to pull out a little more sessionable one. I finally decided to strip the hat and show my baldness proudly. This is actually a really good beer. It's by an Inkazi. Pacific Rim Northwest Pale. Not bad at all, man. 5.4% 50 IBUs. Bald is, and with a beard, it's even more wise, right? <laughs> That's uh, in the whites, you know, you got the white in there. We're, we're looking wise for sure. <laughs> Let's get rid of that ugly lamp thing I have up there in the ceiling. My diamonds are coming out soon. Oi. You got diamond, like real diamonds? <laughs> EPT, how's it going, man? Uh, whoa, that's the wrong hand to use with this. <laughs> oh, you like that, EPT, and right on, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. The calling IPA, double IPA, eight and a half. Oh, my 
Dude, I didn't know you did that. That dude, they're freaking awesome. Built Boulevard. I've never had their IPA, man. That's a that sounds delicious, dude. Freaking Boulevard makes some real good beer, man. Real good beer. Oh my god, good beer. I bet you are, dude. <laughs> The beard, not so much. <laughs> yeah, this thing's... It gets dipped in a lot of shit. I tell you, I go to work the next day and... My hand will stick. And it's real sticky in my hand. I'm like, what did I do, dude? What did I do now? Boo tour is still on, man. I'm at work now listening. <laughs> nice scratching. All right. <laughs> man, boom. Yo, I'm still on. <laughs> oh, it's only been um, uh, almost an hour and a half, so that's not so bad. Man, 29 likes, 10 people in here still. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the support. Thanks for checking this out. I really appreciate it. I'll be on tomorrow for sure, too, and I might go on Thursday. Just trying to get that watch time. Miss <laughs> Lanny's. <laughs> I got a beard too, and the wife gets mad. She pulls on it, and it fucking hurts. <laughs> yeah, it's real. It hurts. I mean, this doesn't hurt like this, you know? But if you pull one strand at a time, that hurts like hell. I'll sit there and I'll be like, oh, this one looks loose. And I'll be all, like, I'll do it now. Watch, watch, watch. Check this out. Look at that loose one right there. Ow! Right? And if I go like this, though, I, I mean, it doesn't hurt. You know, it's... <laughs> I noticed uh, I cut my mustache, right? Yes, and then today, today I noticed that I missed, like, some right here. And it was this big, like, bush right under my nose. I was all, damn, dude, that sucks. So I got, oh, I still didn't get it all. I'm not picking my nose. I just, I still didn't get it all, though. <laughs> yeah. You can't, it's a good thing this isn't, like, magnetized. Cheers to Pacific Rim. Yeah. And to you guys. First to you guys, then to Pacific Rim. Rain. Rain. Pacific Rain. We get a lot of rain here, man. It goes from really cold to really warm. And then in the same day, it gets cold. And then we get a lot of rain. And then we get an icy morning. It's like... <laughs> Eight inches sitting on the ground. Ay, ay, ay. That's a lot. That's a lot. All of our all of our stuff comes your way too. <laughs> oh man, thanks, Sean. For sure. <laughs> be up one of these days to be Oh, that'd be great. That'd be really good, man. I did I enjoyed uh hanging out with uh, Jason when he came up here. That was fun as hell. It'd be fun to hang out with you too, man. But I'd love to have you guys on here. It'd be great to have you uh, chill out for a while. That'd be cool. Drink some beers, whatever. You have a good night, Sean. Cheers, brother. Your new phone sucks. So does mine, dude. I can't even stream yard. It goes crackle crackle on me. The uh, iPhone 8. It sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck. I like it, but... They said it was a problem and it should have been resolved, but that's all right. Oh, you have goofy Wi-Fi? <laughs> or good Wi-Fi. Goofy Wi-Fi. 
<laughs> you have good Wi-Fi. <laughs> Don't you... Wait, wait. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Jerk and Rampage. <laughs> <laughs> nice lacing on the glass. Moving on. <laughs> What's the... <laughs> So for 11 years at one point, then I turned 12. <laughs> I, the only time that I'm sober is when I'm at work. From 7 in the morning till about 5 at night. And the rest of the time I'm fucked up and sleeping after and then on my days off, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm, I'll be like, oh, it's, it's 11, 30, 12. Let's have a beer. Usually around like, I'm a, usually a nooner starter. I like the noon number. When I see noon, I'm like, okay, enough with this coffee. Let's have a beer. <laughs> yeah, right, bamboo. And they, and then I have, I'll have like my water. I have my vitamins and stuff in the morning. Well, sometimes I've been just chowing down on vitamin C lately, but I'm getting a lot of diarrhea with it. Um, <laughs> but it's, uh, I forgot what I was talking about. Shit. Anyway. Drunken Rampage Raid, right on. <laughs> Why does a beer taste best with that? Right on, uh, uh, Welcome Wicked. Why does a beer taste best when you really shouldn't be drinking it? <laughs> it's the devil in that beer. Damn it, that devil. The noon number. You should do a live stream around noon on your day off. Call the... <laughs> <laughs> Starting tomorrow. I'm gonna do two tomorrow though. I gotta do a late night one too. The new number with the beer man? With beer man? I don't like the beer man. Beer man. Okay, it just might happen tomorrow. Be prepared. I'm going to have like a transition where I'll go from coffee to beer. <laughs> Drunken Rampage, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. Thanks, guys, for coming here, man. I, I, I really like this. This is great, man. This is great. When you were in construction, you were drunk. <laughs> yeah, dude, for sure, Bamboo. You do rock, dude. Junk and Rampage, you rock too, man. Thank you. has a ring to it it does right it does have a ring to it I, I work construction a lot yeah dude that probably did make you drink a lot magnets I'll call you magnets it's easier um yeah stressful dude the stressful work makes you I'm, my work's not that stressful but 
it's always nice when you're thinking about a beer all day long and and pot too um you just come home to it and it's like the best it's the very best yeah. I just like it Hi, honey. How you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to get her to talk really loud. If I can trick her into thinking that we're not live, then let's just start talking. <laughs> Juggalo, I'm glad you're back, man. What is going on? We're just bullshitting about bullshit. Very good to have you here again, man. You are one cool dude, man. All you guys are freaking awesome. I love you guys, dude. Well, Drunken Rampage, my friend, there you go, bro. You deserve that. Thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. That's the least I could do for you. Thumbs up to me. <laughs> Just dropped my bowl and I didn't break. Oh, I did. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome, dude. I love that. Or when it hits your foot and it kind of ricochet and goes and bounces and dribbles off somewhere and doesn't break. Yeah, that's good. That's awesome. I wear clogs a lot. You wear clogs too. I wear the rubber clogs, right? The garden shoes and stuff. And uh, your my feet sweat a lot of them, but um. Boy, they're great when things drop. You just, they go boing and go in somewhere else. The fishing, really? Get into, um, what are some other uh, things that you like to do as far as like, you should just like go for walks and just like vlog it. Freaking juggalo on a walk. <laughs> And just like, just rant about things. <laughs> Hot sauce, Jogi, what's up, man? <laughs> We're gonna get, yeah, I have to bistro edition trucks because I work in the kitchen. Is your job, do you like, do you like working in the kitchen like that? Is that, is that what you like to do, miscellaneous? That, I used to do that, and I do, well, I was more like, uh, well, I did line for a little while. Um, more entry level, no, no education. Um, but it just got stressful for me, like all the tickets coming in. You get used to it, you know, right? But it really get, it got, like, I got, like, mad fucking anxiety from that job. One mighty R, what's going on, dude? I didn't even know you were in the house, dude. Hot sauce junkie, what's up? Back to drink some more with me? <laughs> you got a hot one for me. <laughs> for us? I like reggae and rap, <laughs> believe it or not. But I do like Bluegrass. I like the Grateful Dead. They're one of my favorite bands, definitely. The Doors, I like a lot of 60s music. And I like a lot of 80s. I like a lot of grunge music, Pearl Jammy kind of shit, Nirvana and all that crap. Oh, wow. Yeah, I need to try and find a nice a nice hot beer. Like a chill just a chili infused beer or something. I love reggae, man. I love it. I love cooking. It doesn't matter who it's for. I cook for very rich people. When I worked at the restaurant, I could for very rich people. Oh nice.
No, that's an that's an honest it's an honest answer, but I I honestly think that I I really my my idea here is if you throw enough creativity into something, even if it's knitting or or whatever the hell it is that you know whatever it is um you can throw in like all sorts of like effects and craziness that that draws people in or even coming going into like where you have sections within your video that talk about a certain subject um, more of a learning station. Um, anything could be a good thing. Even some of the reviews I do are boring as fuck, you know, or they're too long or I overdo them or I put too many stupid descriptors that don't make any sense out there. And a lot of it's just like, well, I already opened it. I have to do it. I might as well put it up. Let's edit it as best I can and hope that it is not too bad. Um, but that... It really depends. I think the editing has a lot to do with, with, uh, with a video on YouTube, you know, like, like how it's presented. I don't know. That's just my opinion though. And I don't always do the greatest job. You know, sometimes I'll look at mine and be like, what the fuck did I do? Oh fuck. I just like, I just like duplicated two, two of the same scenes. I, they get to see it twice, I guess. <laughs> YouTube's awesome, though, man. You, like, put stuff up, and you just have to, like, hope that it's all right. You're like... Sometimes it's not always that great, but then you're like, ah, oh, that was all right. Okay, I can handle that one. But then you only, your own, you only look at them like once or twice, and that's it. And you might like, like I just went back to a lot of my older ones, and I was like, oh, fuck, dude. I have like all kinds of copyright material in there. There's the Doors playing, the Grateful Dead. I've got freaking reggae bands playing. Okay, I'm going to have to unlist those so I don't lose watch time. You know, hopefully that'll clear when I get monetized, but oh shit man I was going on a fucking rant dude hold on I like all music, especially a different culture. Yeah, I like cultural music as well. My one mighty R man, good to see you. I mean, I've met the grandson of Anheuser Busch, the guy who owns it. I met the man the bathroom. Dang, dude! Oh my god, that's actually kind of cool. Some of those fishing channels are like a fifty thousand subscribers. The juggler tubers are the ones who are neglected. Well, I, I don't really know how to answer. Hold on, let me. But now I work in the system living facility and I do have to work. I get paid twice as much, so I love it. That's good. That's really good. Metal is my favorite. Nice, dude. Hot sauce. But I do dig 90s, 80s as well. Some rap, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, it's kind of weird, you know. You see this white-bearded freak with freaking rap, you know, dancing, ch chilling to rap. I love rap, dude. Jugs, I feel like I started on some series and didn't, and doesn't seem too popular, but I guess I just keep plugging away. Hey, honestly, let me step in, man. Seriously, dude, I got to step in, dude. And the reason I got to is because when I first started doing this, it was never for monetization. It was never for subscribe. Well, it was for subscribers because you wanted people to see your stuff, but I didn't know how to do it. You know, I didn't know that you could go to these grow streams and like get your first thousand and then go from there. And, you know, they're good. The grow streams are great for your first thousand, let's say, you know, just to kind of get you up there. Boom, 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 boom. But you want to meet the right people. You don't want to meet people that aren't interested in what you're doing. Um, but I didn't I didn't do this. I didn't do this. As a moneymaker, I did it more for fun and to meet friends. 
Um, and now it's like more of a tax thing where if I can claim this for my taxes on it, uh, taxable income, this and I've said it over and over again, but, um, that, that's kind of where I come off, you know, give me a hundred bucks a month. I'll be happy with that. Just give me a 1040 at the end of the year and I'll be all right with that, you know? Um, but I'm just glad I met you guys, dude. I mean, it really, it really matters to me that. I've met good people that do like to come to my streams and watch my videos as I like to watch your videos. Bamboo, your videos are great, man. Juggler, your videos are great. Do miscellaneous, your videos are great. All your guys' videos are awesome. Um, there, there's nothing, it, it's, you can't do much. You, you're fishing, it's like, and Juggler, you're putting in a lot of effort with your transitions, with music, with stuff like that. There's only so much you can do, you know, with fishing and stuff, unless you're in like a, you know, like a hardcore, like deep sea boat or something and you're out in the middle of the ocean and it's all crazy and hectic and you're getting all these tunas and blah, 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 blah you know, or whatever. But I mean, you're, you're lake fishing and, and it's not, it's going to be, I guess you got some beautiful areas where you've gone, man. And those are the things I look at in the videos. It's like, man, you're in a peaceful place, dude. I love peace. I love tranquility, dude. This looks nice. I like to sit here and watch this for a little while just to get my mind off shit. Um, it's just crazy, man. Uh, miscellaneous, you're freaking magnets, dude. I love that shit. I want to do it so bad. Like, you got me, like, going on that, dude. Like, what's he going to catch next, dude? Same with the fishing. What's he going to catch next? Um, it, or how big is that fish going to be? I already know what he's going to catch, but how big is that fish going to be? Um, same thing, though. It's just crazy, dude. Lucia D, how's it going, man? All right, so good to have you here. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Much love. Cool, man. Just talking about videos and, you know, or how we do our thing, you know, on YouTube. Just went shopping, huh? Yeah, Pusa Studios it was a good leap for me. They're and they're good people to me. They've always been friendly to me. I've never had a problem with them. I mean, I. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's it's what you do. You know, you. I don't really go to grocery streams so much anymore because I just don't have the time to sit there and do that because I'm trying to do other things. Um, but it was destiny for sure. But it is good to it is good to go quick, you know, and just get your get your people, you know, as quick as possible through these grocery streams that are legitimate, you know, people that are legitimate, uh, people that are really there to help you out, you know. We're taking a chill on, on our Christmas this year. We're just kind of like relaxing. And um, we might do more of like a New Year's kind of Christmas or something. Uh, fundage is a little low. So we're like, okay, let's just kind of relax. We'll have our crab dinner. We always have a crab dinner every year. Oh, that'd be awesome, Juggalo, dude. That'd be sick, dude. That'd be sick, bro. That'd be, like, the coolest. Oh, are you sick? Oh, you you sick, uh, Lucia D? Lucia, are you sick? Oh, Bumpy, no problem, man. You have a good night, man. Thanks for hanging out, dude, and keeping this on and keeping going, man. Thanks for the support, bro. I appreciate it. I'm sure I'll see you in the back end, too, one of these days, huh? <laughs> you have a good night. I'm loving your reviews lately, man. Not lately, just I'm loving them. I love your reviews, bro. Bumpy Rhodes has some really good reviews, man. Very cool. Very cool. And he's putting out some crazy, crazy beers lately, man. Just like, what the fuck? Where did you find those? Just amazing. Have a good night, bro. He's a nice dude, man. Haley Karma, what's going on, man? <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. 
That's awesome. Ah, oh, thanks, Hazel Yard. All right. Thank you. I'm doing good, man. I'm getting, getting a little, you know, I get a little buzz, you know, a little high. I was smoking some weed, you know, and uh, I hope that's all right. I don't know if you like that or not, but um, but that's what I do. <laughs> uh, no problem, Bumpy, man. You have a good night, dude. Much love, bro. <laughs> Drunken. Chief, what's up? Uh, I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk yet. <laughs> I'm feeling, I'm starting to get the shrilly edge, though. Some love on his channel. Nice, Lucia. He's awesome, man. He's a real swell dude. Real nice guy. Hazel, Hazelid, Haley Chief, hello, hello from Bamboo. Bamboo's a great dude. Lucia, you are a cool chick. Love ya. Awesome. Juggalo, man, you are a dude. You are awesome. Miscellaneous, you are awesome. Love ya, man. 1238. <laughs> 938 here shit that's crazy i uh, love you man love you guys well, whenever you got a split you just go okay you don't have to like stick around because i don't know when i'm gonna end it may be one of those nights where i pass out on my hot dogs again oh so you're you're uh central then scratching is that central yeah beer man oh cheers man cheers cheers drunken Right on. You're going to find new diamonds right quick. <laughs> oh, Minnesota. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's close to where my... Well, you're by my stepson's in North Dakota. That's kind of close, right? <laughs> I bet it's cold as fuck. <laughs> Here, I'll say it for you. Yeah, yeah, pretty close, yeah. The closest I've got to, uh, well, Canada would be Idaho, Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, or uh, I was actually in uh, Madison, Wisconsin for a while, for about a month. That, that was real cool. I was training it, you know, just doing the train ride across the U.S. and meeting people. <laughs> I was a big deadhead traveler and just did whatever. It was fun. I was a vagabond, man. Thank God I'm off today, too. You've been hitting some big beers, too, Miss Ladies. <laughs> some big ones. I'm 45 minutes from South Dakota. You're not far, then. Yeah, not too far. I bet that's cold there, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Some bamboo. I want to live in... Arizona. <laughs> That's where my dad lives, man, and it makes me jealous. It's just so hot in the summer, though. You're like, damn, I want to be where it's cooler. <laughs> California was always a very good climate year-round for me. It did get, like, in the 50s in the winter, but boo-hoo. You know, it was always a good climate. It's just you got those damn earthquakes. Those happen everywhere, though. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, he's in uh, he's in Mesa, drunken. I'm from uh, I'm from LA. I'm from Los Angeles. Well, Whittier, uh, Los Angeles County. I'm from Whittier uh, City, Whittier. But I'm in uh, right below Astoria, Oregon, right now, though on the coast in Oregon, uh, North Coast. Oregon's cool. It's cool. It's all right. I like it. It just depends on where you're living, you know. <laughs> like any place. <laughs> a 
Yeah, it's too hot. Northern California, actually, where you're at, Bamboo, is perfect, in my opinion, kind of. Like, that's... Even the southern Oregon border would be perfect to me. It'd be a great grow zone and everything for out, outdoor growing. I'm hoping Minnesota legalizes. I hope they do, too, Scratching. I'll be in Vegas in three weeks in first place. Oh, that's awesome. And you can uh, use your... You, if you have a medical card, yeah, you can... Uh, if you do, that is. Well, you don't have one because it's not legal there. Um, yeah, but you can reciprocate those cards, though, from other states in uh, Nevada. That's pretty cool. That'd be cool to go to Vegas right now, man. It'd be fun to go to one of them shops. They have a lot of shops up here, too. You know, they're all the same, but... I When I went to L.A., I didn't see any, though. Uh, I was in Whittier, and there were none. I think they're in, like, Norwalk or Bellflower or, like, all the surrounding areas is where all the head shops are. But I didn't see any, well, they're not head shops, cannab you know, cannabis shops, dispensaries. But. Oh, they have medicinal. Okay, so if you had a med medical card for your area, you could actually go to Vegas and they would accept that as a medical card and you can get the medical discount and everything. They, they they practice reciprocation, is that what it's called? And I think that's cool where you can cross borders and it's still the same. I think that's cool. That's where we're starting to push that federal edge of legality, you know? Once it starts to get cool like that, then we're good. Because we're just very close to Washington and they're legal too. But we can't bring our weed across the border. What the fuck? And we can't go to California either. And we can't go... What the fuck? Bend the rules a little bit here, people. Let's come up with some new fucking rules. There's a lot of language in this. <laughs> you can go by there and some Las Vegas Raiders stuff now. By there. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, we're working on the federal thing for sure. And it is what it is. You got that right. Went to Vegas like two years ago. Went to the pot shop at like 4 a.m. That's awesome. <laughs> It was happy hour. It got fifteen percent off. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> That's great. Dude, I gotta smoke some weed, man. Dang, Las Vegas Raiders sounds weird. It does sound weird. Is that what you were talking about? I didn't know what you were talking about, dude. You were talking about the Raiders, the football team. <laughs> I didn't even know the Raiders were there. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> the beer and pot creator content is not intended for children. No, it's not. <laughs> well, I'll let you. I'll let you know one thing. I sent. I hope you like bongs. Not what? Come on, I do. You didn't have to do that though. That's nice of you, man. That's really nice, man. Thank you. There are similar products that are legal to transport things across country lines, such as untaxed alcohol, which what I would assume would, goes the same for untaxed marijuana. Yeah, it's all the same. Um, you can, I mean, it's, you can get in trouble for any, you know, that at the moment anyway. Even on a federal, I mean, alcohol is federally legal, but they still have state to state law. They have, still have shipment laws and stuff like that. Um, that you have to follow as a civilian of this country and all that shit. Whatever the fuck you call us. A person of this country. Living a, a, a citizen. I think that they should allow... Las Vegas Raiders, that's crazy. 
They should definitely allow people within the United States, since it is a federal legality, they should allow people to send a certain amount of, and a certain percentage, let's say maybe, or something like that, of alcohol um, to people within the country um, and to other countries that also have legal alcohol. It would be the same way with pot. So why can't it be the same way with alcohol? Um, spirits or beer, wine, whatever. I don't know. I think it's kind of, I think it's kind of hokey dokey, and uh, I don't really like it. They need to start thinking about these things a little more. Moonshine, yeah, that's. I mean, you know, we're 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 getting into like uh, f major flammable liquids that are awesome <laughs> they would have to be sent by ground or something <laughs> yeah it's it totally dude it's still illegal it's still it exactly what you said I can't repeat <laughs> hold on I can repeat it <laughs> it's still illegal even though it's not. What the fuck exactly? Um, I'm drinking I'm still drinking on the buoy one that I reviewed. I was gonna drink this down, go get another uh pisser and uh get another review in. I was gonna grab down and get something else. This is grab bag Tuesday, so and tomorrow is gonna be the new number with the beer man. <laughs> And that would be uh, respects to uh, bam. What the fuck was that? To bamboo, <laughs> to bamboo. Who had mentioned that would be a good thing to say. So cool. Let me get this, and then I'm gonna pee, and then we're gonna grab bag and get another. Uh, get another review, and get you guys entered again. I'm going through all this shit tomorrow too. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. I promise. Alright, I was I'm I'm not really gonna review this one, but this is one that I'm gonna be doing on a, a edited review. It is a uh here look at it. Oatmeal Stout. 2018 Velvet Merkin Vintage number six bourbon barrel aged oatmeal stout by Firestone. Uh you got the bear and all that shit. It was a uh, $12 beer. $12. Look it. $11.95. Then you add that $0.10 cents for the recycling tax. Here, I'll put this right back. I'll be right back.
<laughs> All right, so <laughs> let's grab bag it, man. What's up, doggy doggy? How you doing, boy? How you doing, buddy? Okay, hold on, go away. Yo, go away. Go away. Go away. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy doggy. No, no, no. All right, I'm going in. Oh, snap. I didn't see it yet. I didn't even look. I promise. I haven't looked at it yet. I haven't. Hold on. I haven't looked at it. You guys might have seen it. I didn't see it. Okay. What do we got? <laughs> it's an illegal substance that is illegal to make and transport, but not to have in your residence. <laughs> right? An inspiration from you, beer man. <laughs> the mouse. <laughs> what was that? It was, what? Okay. <laughs> Is that the most expensive beer you bought? Yes. Uh, I think so. But I didn't buy it. It was... It was bought by a gift card I got from work, so I just used that to get like the first part of that $25 gift card, and then the other bit I put into smaller beers. Because <laughs> uh, I was eyeballing it in the box forever. It was in a box in the cooler, and there was only like six of them in the cooler, and they, they had like three left or something. I was like, oh. But then there was some more they had. They were showing them off at room temperature uh, over there. I was like, geez. I guess you guys had a lot of these. Um, I haven't seen it yet, so let's see. What do I got? Oh, shit, I got the Freem, man. Freem in Hood River, Oregon. Uh, Freem is the uh, company, Hood River, Oregon. It's their IPA. It's their... It's more than likely a, a Northwest IPA again. You get a lot of those around here. They do have a Southwest IPA that I want to try. There was something I read about that, and I, I need to look more into that. But this is cool. Kind of a cool can. Their bottles are really cool, too. Freem is how you pronounce this. I know it's confusing. It's a 6.7% Independent Craft Brewing Association. They're also with that. 6.8%. IPA lover rejoice, aromas of peach and papaya with refined notes of pine and lychee fruit await you. Lychee fruit. Lychee fruit is like a uh, bubblegum rose-like taste, like a, like a floral bubblegummy kind of taste. That's what I've always got. It's that, yeah, that's what I've always gotten out of it. Strawberries, just some strawberry maybe coming out of that, some berryness. So this is very interesting. 6.8, let's open this. I'm going to use this glass, yes? Nice. So, my two finger head. I get some berry notes coming out of this for sure. Some fruity berries. What kind of berries? Floral. Like a flower kind of smell coming out of this. It's really crazy. Like a red rose. For real, I'm not joking. Like I'm serious. I'm serious about that. It's like floral, rosy floral. If it doesn't get all over your lap, you're okay. Oh, yeah, that uh, mixes in well. There's kind of a mango th coming out of this. A lot of these have mangoes in them. There's always a mango uh, smell coming out of it. 
or a flavor, um, a tropical fruit of some kind to a pinch, even on some of them. Uh, you get more with piney, more with floral, more with fruit, this, that, boom, 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 boom. I love it when they're mixed, though. It makes it super complex, and it's very hard to, like, tell. This is kind of complex. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. I really, it's really hard to decipher. There's a nice, um, like a caramely like smell coming out from the malt. That fruit's coming out though. This is nice. We gotta look at this. Uh, we're down. Retention's not bad. Finger now, after about two minutes. White head, froth, frothy, uh, frothy and uh, memory foamy like. It is a real clear beer. Somewhat brilliant. Slow to medium rising bubble. It's a deep golden or an amber, a light amber. Huh. It has kind of like an earthy taste to it. Fruity. A little bit of strawberry. Cherry. Almost has a cherry Coke-like flavor to it. Bitter in the back, dries off. Um, three quarters of the way down, starts to dry off. It's kind of smooth, it's spritzy at first a bit. But it puts out all these flavors. Fuck, what's that thing I'm getting here, man? What's that flavor I'm getting right now? I'm going to analyze this a bit. We're live. Fuck it. Uh, hold on. God, there's so many flavors going on my tongue right now. There's... I'm, I'm getting kind of a wheat bread, like a wheat breadiness. As far as like the, 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 the grain side of it. And then with the hops and stuff, it's pushing out this really crazy complex amount of things like from fruit to citrus to pininess to resininess, like this resonated like crazy pininess coming out of it. It's weird. Like, honestly, I want to see what the fuck they said it tastes like because... Well, they said it said notes of pine and lychee fruit with peach and papaya. I would have to say there's definitely some peach. Now that they say peach, I'm looking at it and going, yes, there's a little bit of peach in there. Papaya, I'm not too sure about because I don't know that I've ever had papaya before. So I don't want to say, oh, it tastes like papaya. You know, um, I'm not a liar. <laughs> but there is some peach coming out of this. I did do a uh, thing where I bought a bunch of fruit and citruses and I opened them up. I didn't do them on video, but I did it on my table just to get an idea of what each thing tastes like. Even though you think that you know what orange tastes like, sometimes you don't. There's other, like tangerine, there's there's blood orange, there's all these different oranges that, clementine oranges and navel oranges, and they all taste different. Um, 
so it's good to know like what you're and it helps you as a as a as a reviewer of anything food anything if you're going to review pepperoni then taste all kinds of different pepperonis so that you know what region they're coming out of or where they made it or how it's made or whatever. So I I only the darker ones I try to I let them sit for about an hour like my anywhere from a porter to a stout I'll let it sit. Anything dark. The lighter ones I like to open up cold. So but the the yeah, definitely. Hey, Jake Rose, what's going on, man? Yo, bro. And Cammy, what's up, man? <laughs> my brother. My brother. What's up, bro? Cammy's from my, from my area. <laughs> well, not my area now, but where I was raised. Awesome, man. Yeah, I don't. I like to. Uh, I like. I like to let the darker beers sit for a while. Um, there's just more flavors and aromas that come out of it. And I never, like I said last night or the other day, I, I don't ever drink beer out of a bottle or a can. And the reason why is because it let it allows you to be able to really taste the full effect once it's poured out and all the CO 2s raised up all these flavors and aromas, and it's nice. I don't know. It gets all the, the bottle taste out and the tinny can taste out and all that shit. <laughs> I can't wait either. I want to see you, dude. I'm going to be down there soon, actually. I'll let you know. Probably in a, It'll be a couple months, probably, though. But that'll come f so fast. Lickety split. I promise we're going to do a collab, man, on YouTube. That's happening. We might even have to go get me. I'm going to get me one of them chest things that I can wear, and we can just walk around, and, like, you can hit me up with all the brewer the bars or the breweries or the bottle shops around your area, and we'll just go in with that on, and I'll, I'll just, like, you know what I mean? Like, that'll be cool, dude. That'd be awesome. What are those fucking cameras called? Um, the Pro GoPros? Yeah, I'll get a GoPro. Your birthday's in March. Well, that actually might be just about right. <laughs> That's awesome, man. You know, I don't get a hangover, so there you go. <laughs> Captain Kirk. <laughs> you know, I've never heard that before. I, I did not know that. <laughs> But I don't ever get hangovers. I just get a really dry mouth. Because I, I sleep with my mouth open. On my, I sleep on my back. I think I have uh, sleep apnea. But I've never been told that I do. Oh, dude, that'd be, the great, that'd be so cool. That'd be so cool to like, to see you, dude. Like, I know, I'm like, just to, like, to be able to connect with you, like, like, it's always virtual, you know? Even though it's real, I almost had my hat. I thought my hat was on. I'm used to a hat. But it, it, it would be so interesting to see that, to see you, dude, to like, to see anyone, though. Like, any, like, you or anyone here or anyone that you, that you follow every day and that you talk to every day through chats and streams and uh everything else comments um to finally see someone that would be the most interesting thing in the world um i don't know it's cool <laughs> we'd have a good old time dude <laughs> smoke a lot of weed You get hangovers drunken. <laughs> uh, I know, right? Exactly. I just want a beer with you, bro. That sounds good. 
or two or three or four <laughs> or 12. <laughs> you know what? Uh, have you ever been to Ballast Points? Uh, I know they just got bought by another smaller company, but uh, Ballast Point in Long Beach and Seal Beach. Have you ever been out there? Freaking awesome, dude. I went out there when I was there with all my buddies and um, you're, you're my buddy too, but you know what I mean? My, my, my school buddies. Um, <laughs> but we went to Ballast Point though um, and it was awesome. I mean, it was the greatest place ever. You a what? I'll have one, then some vodka. Vodka's good. Mm. Well, you can't really taste it, but I like vodka. <laughs> it's nice to mix. That's a good mixing liquor, man. That's an awesome liquor to mix things with. Juices and stuff. Oh, oh, wow. Been a while, right? Martinis. Wow. You're going to have to make me a martini when I see you. <laughs> I was still laughing still. <laughs> You know, I've had times like that where you're watching, you were part of a stream or you were like, watched a video that was funny as fuck and you just like kept thinking about it. I, I, I don't know how many times that's happened to me. It's awesome. <laughs> Some of your guys' videos are freaking hilarious, dude. Oh my God. What the hell? Big penis on the wall. <laughs> That's like backseat. Backseat last night, man. Um, oh, my God. He had a... Um, it was a hat. But it looked like a crooked penis. Like, the hat looked like... It was a mushroom hat, Mario Brothers hat. And he... And, oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I love it. Wow, cock. <laughs> wow, Jimmy. We're <laughs> gonna be smoking, too. Oh, dude, this is going to be awesome. Cam is going to be awesome. Dude, I almost had my... I, I, I'm i talking about it again, I know. I almost had my laptop working today. I was going to do a... I can do it from my phone, but I don't want to because it's hard to do. But I almost was going to do StreamYard today. <laughs> so we'll see what tomorrow brings us. My name is John Walcock. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, he sure did. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, we had a good time. I forgot you changed your name, dude. Oh my god, dude. I'm stupid. I forgot you changed your name, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we had a good time, dude. I was fucked up. I woke up this morning and I was actually kind of... I was... I was I was... <laughs> I damn the man. Damn it. The, uh, the, uh, no, I, I was actually fucked up this morning. I had a very hot face. Oh, did I, I just gave you away, dude. Sorry. <laughs> That's for you guys to figure out. <laughs> dude, I had a hot face. My whole face was hot. And my mouth was dry. 
I had way too many really strong alcohol beers. And I was just like... I gotta get up. I gotta go to work. And I was like spitting all of a sudden... Blah, 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 hacking up in the morning. Oh my God, I was so fucked up. I felt drunk still, actually, too. I don't know if you've ever had that those moments. Were you wondering how you can even drive? <laughs> when I say I have to work in the morning, I say I have to work in the morning. <laughs> but I'm never good with it. <laughs> Tonight, though, it can go all off the hook. If it chooses to. <laughs> the new number. The new number. Look for that tomorrow. I'm going to be doing... Because I said uh, I drink my beers at noon. At noon is when I start to think about beer. So that's usually when I have my first beer on my day off. And it just keeps going on and on and on and on and on and on and I'm buzzed, but I'm not really feeling it because I've already had a bunch of beers, so I'm like past my drunk, and I'm just kind of like actually sober. Oh, I need another one. And you get a little buzz, but it goes away because you're, you, you're just used to it. That's how it is when you drink all day long. <laughs> really, in all reality, you could not pass... An alcohol test if you were to drive. <laughs> they're... <laughs> they're actually... We could go look at them if you want. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. I feel like I'm on, like, Mr. Toad's bumpy ride at Disneyland. Okay, let's do this. Well, I'm stumbling, dude. That's not good. Hi. Whoa, I almost fell. Now let me switch it. All right, it's gonna get dark. Let's see what they look like today. Oh, shit. got 75.2 and a 36 percent humidity a little low on the humidity but that's okay this one's starting to show budge budage these ones are starting to get their crowns Now let's go to the main flower. Excuse me. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let's get that light on. Hey, thanks, Cammy. Thank you, man. Here's the, the main girl right here, the Durban Poison. All yellow leaves. All those are bud tops. And they're all about a ri uh, uh, They're not like super huge or anything, but there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. So, hey, Daz Peronum, what's up, man? Yeah, this was all 
This is my super crap or low stress trained uh, plant. Sorry. What was super crap too? <laughs> all low stress training. And it just brings out all the branches instead of making huge colas. I brought up a bunch of smaller colas. And they're all really nice. Like. It's hard to see in the light that I have. You can, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, one of them purple LEDs. It, I'd like to get into the white LEDs. Hey, uh, V1, what's up, man? How you doing, bro? I saw your thing earlier. I got home kind of late from work. I had to get on my live. <laughs> You gotta get that damn watch hour shit out of the way so I can focus. Love you, brother. Daz Piranha, love you, bro. Love all you guys, man. You guys are great, dude. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it, man. You guys are awesome. Let me see. You wanna smoke some of that? <laughs> it's almost done. It's like a week. Eight right now and I think there's like two is it ten week or nine to ten so I'm gonna let it go to the max it should be good v2 how you doing much love hell yeah and mrs. beerman she's a uh, she's out there somewhere <laughs> get a Mar I would love Mars hydrolytes man oh wow that would be really cool do get a couple of those would be perfect Two 600 watt or 600, uh, I can't see your whole message. 5% off's not bad at all, though. Yeah, I love, I really like Mars Hydrolytes, man. Um, uh, fuck, what's his name? Um, Ah, uh, I can't think of his uh, channel name. I can't think about it. Oh, it's only eighty bucks a light. And what's the uh, what's what's the what would you compare it to? Like as far as like an HPS or something like as far as wattage goes. Uh, like right now, I'm on eighteen hundred watts of dual. Like the, it's a Chinese light. You know, it came from China. But it's it's got the dual the double so it's got ten watts per IO diode or whatever the hell you call it. Um so it's a little stronger. It's an eighteen hundred watt, which is about like a twelve hundred watt LED if you wanna or not LED uh, uh HPS. So I'm just curious as to this gives me about the wattage I get here probably gives me about three to four ounces per plant. So not too bad. A thousand watt, uh, right on. That's freaking awesome. And you, you get it for that cheap? Dude, that's a really you got like you get like a really good deal. Eighty bucks a light is not bad, dude. I'm gonna have to talk to you about that. <laughs> Order me four of those. Yeah, this thing is like fluffy with nuggage. Durban poison smells awesome too, man. Ah, it's so like, it's got like a fruity earthiness to it. It's amazing. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. <laughs> this look good, man. That is cheap for a thousand watt. Oh, no, I would pay the shipping or whatever. Right?
Yeah, this thing, dude. This shit has gotten nice. Like, they're... Oh, uh, what the hell? Go off? What the hell? Sorry about that glitch. It's really hard to see. The, you know, you can't see anything with the... Let me see if I can pull the other light over here. It's like some ghetto lamp. What's that? There's one. There. I don't know. They're all right. It's hard to do, but anyway. Dude, let me look at your guys' comments. Oh, right on. Okay. Dads, that's awesome. They're smelly, really smelly good too, Cammy. Oh my god, are they ever. They're really nice. I'm gonna be putting some new beans in um, soon. Some, I, I'm trying to figure out. Sorry, it's dark. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put in. But once I once I figure that out, I was thinking about doing some auto seeds. I've got an alien right now that. Sounds really cool. I'd love to do some alien kush or something. That'd be awesome. In, in a in an auto. So never grown autos before. I've been growing for well, like this, uh perpetually I've been growing for six years. But uh I've been growing for close to 30 years well since i was 18 so um i'm 45 now 25 26 27 years <laughs> but for five or six years since i've lived in a legal state to grow in uh, i was a medical patient for about five of those years and then i didn't want to get my card anymore so Cam camo, oh nice, dude. Chemo weed. I've never heard of that, man. Is it more? Is it a? Is it a CBD? Variation, should I say? Does it have THC as well, or? I need another beer. I have uh, some from here. Hold on, let me let me take let me. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of take you with me. 
Just going back into my closet where I used to grow. Um, it's really messy. I don't want to show you it. It's nasty. I'll just show you me. But, um, so I have, here, check this out. Check this out. I have some seeds. Um. Fuck it. What happened? Shit. Oh, I was covering it up. Okay, so I've got this that I just got from a friend from, um, um, fuck, dude. I got this in the mail. Fuck it. I can't, I can't think right now. Um, God damn it. <laughs> I got this from Cisco Kid. Um, but this is a tin kettle of sweet tooth Hawaiian cherries. But I've got like, I've got Burger FS that I just got too. Um, and then I got some from, hold on, let me. Kind of just like a good, powerful painting can. They're nice. That's awesome. That's awesome, dads. So these I got from Tipsy Chipping Rednecks. And, well, that's my big belly. See No Evo, God's Cure. Black Rhino, Toy Soldier. Shit. I'll just... Hey, come back here, motherfucker. Um, Black Magic by Do Toy Soldier as well. Another one. And these are probably regular seeds. So I'd ha hopefully just have to m make sure, you know, hopefully they're females or not Hermes. But that was cool. That was cool, man. It's cool. Oh, there's my big ass belly again. It's cool that uh, the exchange of these, like, it's not, it's not actually um, illegal to exchange beans, uh, even in the mail. Um, I mean, as long as there's an agreement that the other person isn't gonna pop them. But, um, but now it's even better because they've taken off Schedule One in the United States, so. Um, it's not like a federal crime to, to get seeds. I, I don't think anyway, but I think it's cool. <laughs> I like, uh, I like getting beans and stuff. Um, I want to put some new stuff in though. It'd be fun. It'd be fun. All right. I'm here again with my ugly lamp. I'm going to open this beer. I do want to do some autos though. That'd be really cool. I did an auto before and it grew too it grew too small, um, amongst all my other photos, so it was really hard to grow the auto with the photo because <laughs> they're on a schedule. Sweet tooth. I've never had sweet tooth. You're 43, Dad. All right. I'm 45. Berry chemo and CBD God Bud. Nice, dude. That sounds awesome. I love CBD. I like a good one. To, I like a nice hybrid CBD THC uh, strain. The one that I liked was Nightingale and um, I got I, I was able to get that thankfully um and it was a cbd it's like a 19 to 1 or something like that cbd over thc barely any thc but when you smoked it and it tastes it had um 
it was very berry, very, very, a lot of berries coming out of it. Look, very, very, very berry, like blackberry or some kind of weird berry. Um, it was a lot, I think uh, one of the families in it, one of the strains in it was uh, Alaska or ATF, Alaskan Thunderfuck. I think that was one of them, and then there was something else that it was mixed with. But it was all CBD. It was a CBD purely, almost all CBD. Like, amazing, amazing body buzz. Amazing body buzz. Like, your body just felt like you had a volume. Like, it was like eight, 17 or 18% CBD. Uh, wow. Who could ask for anything more? Deadpool, what's up, man? Called Belly. <laughs> Look how firm that is. It's like a firm belly. Okay. Drewski's in the house. What's up, Drewski? What's up? I don't have a panel, damn it. But I wish I did. Because you'd be on it with me. Cheers, brother. Right on. Captain Kirk, come on. You need to be a... You got to have that right there, okay? I don't know why you didn't have that, but there you go. You barely got home. <laughs> awesome. Oh, look. It's side view. Billy reviews by the beer man. <laughs> I used to have muscles. They all depleted. Oh, no problem. Should have happened sooner. <laughs> Wow, they're not doing it, like, by the uh, hour anymore. It's, like, by the actual minute. 169 minutes I've been on. What is that? Like, it's, like, two and a half hours. That's cool. I'm down with that. Dude, I, I last one I was, like, five or six hours, and I had my head in hot dogs. My dog, the dogs need to go outside. They just came in. Well, then, you, if you just came in, what's wrong with you? You gonna go outside again? Outside? You got diarrhea? You got diarrhea? Do you have diarrhea? Oh, let me see. Here, I'll take you with me. I better check my, uh, oh, I can't. I gotta plug this in soon. Damn it. That's exactly what it is, man. I need to give him water. Shit. Here, I'm gonna put this down for a moment, guys. I'll be right back, I promise.
have told me that sooner. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright. They needed water, so I'm sorry. They have lots of water now. What was I doing? Yeah, he is worth the rent. He's been coming to my thing all the time. Oh man, it's just it's nice to have. I love it when you guys come back here. I know I'm not always on it, and sometimes I fall asleep. I understand that. Um, shoot, damn it. Why it happens, I don't know why, but. When I'm driving, sometimes I fall asleep. I have to like, shake my head a lot. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That sounds awesome. Yeah. Hey Chrysler, how are you, man? Welcome. Yeah, I think it is. I know, right? He, they looked at me and they, they, I knew, man, because they just went outside and we sat outside and they stomped their feet a couple times and then came closer. I was like, it's not outside, is it? And they came closer and I'm like, and then she says water and they're like, they understand water. So they know water, they know food, eat, they know those words. It was just crazy. Animals, man, dogs are, animals in general are very smart. Smarter than us, I think, personally. <laughs> There's a bowl for you. It's almost charcoaled out. These things break all the time on me. I'm always, I went and bought a rubber one but the inside glass popped out that the that, that plays as the bull it went bing and hit the ground and broke i was like you gotta be kidding me it was rubber it's not supposed to break <laughs> and i went to go get another piece and they're like no you have to buy the whole pipe again I was like, what? Oh, you got to be kidding me, dude. I might as well just get a glass one for $3 less. Or just dab it. Start doing dabs. What I can't wait to show you guys is me brewing beer, man. I want to brew beer so fucking bad. And I want to show it off. I want you guys to see it. I want... I want that so badly. And I want to review the beer that I make. There's always the surprise, right? right? Like that surprise. Like you get this real cool surprise. Ta-da! You know, like, bam, that's your beer. It tastes like shit. It tastes good. It tastes mediocre. You know, it's just, it, it, it's really cool. And I'll be honest with my own, too. I'll be like, nah, it tastes like shit. You know, or it tastes great or whatever, you know. But, of course, I'll do uh, other companies' reviews as well. But I can't wait to start brewing. <clears throat> I 
I'll have to pick up the speed though. It's a four hour, it would be a four hour video if I showed you the brewing process. <laughs> That'd be some good watch time, huh? <laughs> Hey, Big Houston, the, uh, uh, Blue Moon has a uh, coffee uh, beer out now. I just saw that. I almost bought the six-pack. Uh, welcome, man. Good to see you. Big Houston, man, right on. Yeah, they had uh, the... I don't know if you've seen that, but they had the, this coffee one out. I, I really want to try it, actually. But I, I'm, I'm the kind of person that likes one beer if I'm going to try something new and then I go into it. You know, I, w I want to try it first before I... I like a sample. Because $7 is a lot to pour out. It's not a lot to pour out, like, on a beer that I do a review on. <laughs> but it's always a lot when you have to suffer drinking that beer all night long. What the hell was that all about? Sorry, what happened? No, when you have to chug down five others after you had that sixth one, you're like, and it sucked, you're like, fuck, I just wasted $9. So I'd rather waste $9 on a, on a beer that I review and put up on YouTube than to waste on a six-pack that I have to drink the rest of my night. I had a question come up. Really? $7 for a beer? And, and no, it's okay. I'm not mad at you or anything. I, I'm sure you, if you're watching this, you know who I'm talking about. But I'm not going to mention names. But um, but no, I, and I basically stated that, no, it's what, it's what I do. It's what we as beer reviewers do. We, we look for the best. We look for the worst. Sometimes it's pricey. Sometimes it's really cheap. And sometimes it's in between. Um, and a lot of times I'm recycling for my beer, you know, my review beers. So thank God I work at a company where I can recycle. I get to hit up all the recycling bins when I do re rental uh, uh, houses and stuff. So um, it's kind of cool. He's chasing his tail? I think he bit his tail. He bit his tail and he yelped. He's yelling at himself because he can't get his tail. He's getting frustrated. This is an 89-year-old dog getting frustrated with his tail. Oh, he's 10, so that would make him 10 times 7, 70. He's a 70-year-old man getting frustrated with the fact that he can't catch his tail. Yeah, you could go to a bar and try it. They would probably have that on tap. I'm do I'm totally gonna brew some good weed beer, like with some real decarboxylated THC inside that beer, because it's on a personal. It's not being licensed, and that would be sick, right? I want to put that. Whoa! Almost dropped that. That almost went. On, that could have fallen on my laptop. Um. That would be awesome to review and actually see the results. Like, the the slow, crazy results that the THC and the beer would play on my bloodstream when I'm doing the review. I should do it on a live so that, you know, it gives a couple hours of you seeing me get slowly high as fuck. Is it like with the the hops though? Hops are. I'm sure you know this, but a cousin to uh, pot. So, with the two being sedatives, uh, which they are, that would probably be why when I mix the two, they get me really tired and I fall asleep on stream. <laughs> That's what my thoughts are anyway. <laughs> Our dog is laying upside down. Here, watch. 
Let me get it. Let me get it. Oh, I didn't mean to show you dick balls. Oh, I just showed you my wife, too. Uh, hey, everyone. How you doing? I just totally showed you my everything. Um, but that's okay. I, I didn't mean to. I just forgot. <laughs> I got the most disturbed look from my wife right now. The most disturbed look. I had better watch out. And I did see the shanty tonight. I was going to get some shanty too, but I was only on, I went and recycled. So I get paid tomorrow. So I was recycling tonight to try and get some beer money, you know, money for my beer, the stream and stuff. Um, that's really what I care about. And then I go get like a package of like burritos for like two fifty. And those get those that protein like totally sets me up for the night. Um, I love protein, man. You don't get the shakes, nothing. You're good. Yeah, Taco Bell on the way home would be good, but I just don't like, I don't like eating fast food too much. My dog's going nuts over there. Itching his back and shit. 70-year-old man. Next year he's going to be 77. Serious. Man, I appreciate all the likes, everyone. That's very nice of you. I did, and I lost. I lost everything. They didn't even have a bonus round. I should have really thought about this. Some guy was behind me when I was buying this, and I didn't have time to think about it. He was being real unrelaxing. I wanted to punch him. But I know you can't assault people, but sometimes you want to. You're like, mmm. Yeah, Taco Bell definitely runs right through you. <laughs> I am due for a win. I am definitely due. I've got to win something. I got to win something. <laughs> Things will get better though. We're we're looking good right now. We're all right. We're happy. I got my job. My wife's got hers. We're making our money and people are happy with us. So there's nothing wrong there. No one's losing their job anytime soon. <laughs> I kind of want to spark this fucking J up, dude. Here, check this out. Like, I have... How many do I have left? I have three left, man. Super Lemon Haze. Whoa, almost kicked my glass over. Super Lemon Haze while I'm reading some... Cards for humanity and shit. I'm making you guys laugh. Hopefully. <laughs> they make me laugh. Alright. And so... Oh, I took out the wrong one. Let's do this. So the way I play it is I just pick them off the top. Like, others would have, like, ten cards each. 
and you pick your best outcome and then the best outcome wins or whatever. So what it is is when I pick one and I pick a black card and I put them together, if I laugh wholeheartedly, then I take a drink. If I don't laugh at all, then I take a drink. But if I do laugh a little bit, but not really, and it's like, ah, pass, go to the next one, no drink. Okay, there we go. So there's two chances to get an entry into the drawing at the end of the month. It tastes like shit, to be quite honest. Um, it's about a year and a half old joint. LSD. Mrs. Beerman said, ew. LSD plus how strange it is to be anything at all equals really bad time. See? That's not anything good. LSD plus... Pooping in a leotard and hoping no one notices equals really bad. <laughs> puff, puff, pass. Here we go. It's from same boxes last night. It's kind of stiff. Where you go? You want some? Lieutenant Diane. Just dropped some cards on the ground. I don't like that one. That one's too hard. We do not shake with our left hands in this country. That is the hand we use for restoring Germany to its former glory. <laughs> Okay. We do not shake with our left hands in this country. That is the hand we use for participating. <laughs> oh, wait. So I know when I've laughed, just put ha ha. So if you put ha ha when I laugh, then I'll I'll enter you. I didn't mention that before, sorry. I, and there was like no way of knowing. Look at this is like Gonzo's nose. There's nothing there in the center. It didn't get packed very well. Oh my god. What in the hell? Well that's stupid. Yeah, just put ha ha when you see me laugh or nah when you see me not laugh. N-A-H. How about that? Nah. Uh, like or ugh. Any other time that you're not laughing. U-G-H. U-G-H. Ugh. Or what's the other one that I said? Ha ha. Yeah. Ha ha or ugh. Those will get you entered. Ha ha's and uggs. Ooh, daddy like. Daddy like. Going around pulling people's tampons out. Ha 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 ha. Ha, ha, ha.
There we go. All right. Love in the ha ha's. Cool. So, like, I had to read that one again. That was funny. Ooh, daddy like, daddy like, getting blasted in the face by a t-shirt cannon. Uh, I didn't really like that one. <laughs> Ooh, daddy like, a man in a suit with perfect hair who tells you beautiful lies. or Uggs that I get, I'll enter you. How about that? That works. As Teddy Roosevelt said, the four manly virtues are honor, temperance, industry, and dumpster juice. it from someone who's been around the block a few times. Nothing puts her in the mood like the full-blown marginalization of ugly people. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. <coughs> V1, what's up, dude? Oh, my God. V1, V2. Oh my god, that was funny, dude. Son, take it from me. Take it from someone who's been around the block a few times, eh? Nothing puts her in the mood like opening your mouth to talk and a big penis flops out. <laughs> to-do list, buy groceries, clean up, no, clean up, 45 minutes of finger blasting, what the fuck, clean up, a negative body image that is totally justified, <laughs> soccer practice, Totally destroyed my asshole. Film roles for actresses over 40. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't like that one very much. <laughs> That's definitely an ugh, y'all. There we go. <laughs> you, you. <laughs> Kitty can't be carried. Oh, I love you, bro. Alright. What totally destroyed my fucking asshole? Having sex with a beautiful person. <laughs> about 
one more time. What totally destroyed my fucking asshole? Straight blazing 24-7. Flutter <laughs> 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 by how's it going? Oh, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, it's good to see you. <laughs> I started laughing like hell. Damn, cards against the fucking humanities. I need another beer. Hold on. <laughs> grab bag. It's a grab bag, but I'm scared to grab bag it right now. Because I'm... Whew. Let's just go with the sessions for a moment. I'm half tempted to doing a, a beard cutoff uh, video, or even a live where I cut my beard. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. What do you guys think? I'm gonna miss this. This is my thinker. This is what I use. I, I do this all day. I just stroke the beard, I'm just like, mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this is what I do though. I burp too sometimes. And it helps me think. And I'll sit there and I'm just like, if I can't hold on to it, it's just like, be like, what am I gonna do today? What am I gonna do? <laughs> no, I won't. I, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut it. Oh no, I won't cut it. I won't cut it. I can't cut it. It got trimmed, and I wondered why. I, I mean, I liked it at first, but I was like, man, that was my beard. It was huge. Anthony, what's up, dude? Hey, man. Cheers, bro. Hold on a second, man. Anthony, cheers, dude. This guy's a little foamy. Hold on. I got a little aggressive there. <laughs> I was looking through all my old videos, though, dude. And I was like, because I'm scared because I'm, I'm put, you know, I'm, I'm not quite there at 4,000 hours, you know. I'm, I'm getting there, but uh, it's driving me nuts. But I, I, there was some that didn't give me a whole lot of watch hours. And I'm thankfully to God that it didn't. Because they're embarrassing, dude. All of my newer ones, like, they have, like, Bob Marley playing in the back. They got, like, freaking anything, dude. Didn't even, I didn't even know anything about face, uh, uh, YouTube when I first started. I didn't know the rules. I just did it, you know? I think a lot of us might have. I don't know. Maybe you studied it before you did it. But I just did it. And I, <laughs> I didn't know that you couldn't have copyrighted music on there. And I'm just like, fuck, damn it. So I got, I'm got. i going to have to uh, unlist them all so I can keep the watch hours, you know, and hope that it goes past the monetization check, you know. But I was listening to it today. I'm like, fuck, Grateful Dead, dude. There ain't no way Grateful Dead's going to allow me to play their songs on my videos. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised Bob Weir didn't come calling me himself. Dude, you gotta take that song off your damn video, Holmes. Shit, what the fuck, dude? Who are you? I'm Bob Weir, dude. Oh. Fuck me. Okay, nice to talk to you. I'll do that right now. Oh, yeah. No, there is. You just won't get paid the full. You'll have to, like, give it to whoever owns the rights to it. Half-half or something. Yeah. Yep, Juggalo. And, but, yeah. 
Bob Ross is awesome, man. I like Bob. I would love it if Bob Ross came here. Said hello to me. Hey, Bob Ross, how are you? <laughs> I like Bob Ross. He paints good paintings. If it's too as you and I keep the video I'm probably just gonna keep it there, yeah. Scratching for sure. I think I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm just gonna leave it alone. And if they say something, they say something. I'll just be like, okay, well I'll just delete them. No no big deal. <laughs> Bob me, Bob Marley. <laughs> uh, I'm starting to get to that point. I need friends. I'm at 898 and 3,000 view out. Oh, wow, man. You have 3,000, though. That's perfect. You're at a good range. Scratch, scratching. You're at a good range right there. Because by the time you get to 1,000, you're going to have your 4,000, no problem. Boom, boom, boom. Everything happens like magic. Where me, I got my 1,000, but I had like only 1,500 watch hours. So I had to, and it was getting close to the end of the year. And I'm also actually, I don't know. You know, I'm at the I don't know moment. So, but that's why you're seeing a lot of lives coming out of me right now. V2, love you long time, for sure. Love the V3 family. You guys are awesome. Much love. Much love. Thank you so much. It's so good to have you guys here, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you with all of my heart. <laughs> Bamboo, you're still in the house, man. Awesome. I'm glad you're here, man. I'm glad you're still here. That's great, man. That's great. Scratching, still here, man. Awesome, man. Love it. Anthony, man. Cheers, bro. Cheers, man. Hell yeah, dude. Big cheers. Loving this party, man. It was a good party, man. It's fun. I want to do a live fucking party, man. <laughs> I want to have a good time in front of everyone. Hey, man. It's physical now. What's up, yo? Let's dance. No, I don't like to dance. I'm not a big dancer. I'm just joking with that one. But, um... <laughs> yeah, I don't like to dance. <laughs> if I dance, it's comical. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather... <laughs> Anthony, I'd rather. Ah, <laughs> uh, thanks, guys, man. This is this is so cool. You yeah, like, but Mrs. Spearman said, "Like the worm," as <laughs> she walked past the hallway here, like the worm. I used to do the worm, dude. Or like, like on the ground and stuff. I was a break dancer when I was younger. You did that on my 30th birthday. I did it on her 30th birthday. I did the dolphin. You did the worm across the dance floor. The worm across the, the dance floor. And, uh, yeah, and I, I used to wear helmets and like run into trees and fall backwards in front of cars coming down the road. They go, middle, boom, bang. And everyone stop and they get out of their car and they like, are you all right? All right? Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm all right. I don't know what happened. And I'm all right the whole time, you know? I'm like, it's, it's totally fake. But, like, it's funny because, like, Jackass, those shows, they came out, like, very closely within the time that I was doing stuff like this. So it's weird how the law of attraction forces those energies out to other people. I sound crazy, don't I? I don't know, it's weird. I used to do a lot of the fucking jackassy kind of shit. 
when I was like 90. When did Jackass start is when I want to know. That's what I want to know. When did Jackass start? When was the first episodes? Because I did this in like, what, 90? 90, 91? I'm just curious. Because I love Jack. <laughs> and I love the trailer part, boys. Oh my God, they're funny. 99-ish. Wow, okay. See? And and that's just it. Like, I did this. I was started doing this shit. I'm not giving myself credit, but I'm just saying. I, I did. I started doing shit like they did. Not as crazy, though. They went nuts, dude. They went crazy style nuts. But I I think everyone at that age, though, tries to do things over their, you know what I mean, their capacity to, to stand out. You know, I think it's it was more on that level. But, man, I used to, like, hit trees really full on hard. I'd run really fast into walls at my high school with a helmet on backwards, a skater helmet. It'd be a skate helmet that you'd wear in like a pipe, you know, like we, because I used to skate and stuff. We'd go up the pipes and up the ramps and shit. But I'd wear it backwards and say, My name is Steven. And because that's my name. And, uh, and I'd ram really hard into the wall. Boom, bang. And you'd get up, and everyone's, like, looking over, and they're like, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. And, like, we used to, like, throw ketchup packets out and see who would step on them. And uh, walking through, and we'd laugh. Um, you know, hopefully it didn't hit us when they stepped on it. But there was all kinds of things we would do. I just remember all these things. It's so funny. It's so funny in high school what you do. It's so funny, like... As an adolescent, you know, as at a younger age when you're, you just don't, you don't think about like consequences. <laughs> I just think it's cool, but <laughs> uh, probably make me a really good scout leader or something. I'd get along well with the kids. I did that, dude. Bamboo, I did that, too. I don't even want to get into details, though, on that one. I don't want to get into details. We, uh, we did, I will say, though, that a, a good friend of mine, I'll say, I'll even call him my brother, because I've known him for a very long time, enough to say, bro, um... But I'm not going to say his name. But he had a pickup truck, and we were, he was able to obtain a, um, is that the right word? Uh, one of those dairy cows that are plastic. And he put a, uh, oh, I said his gender. He put a purple goatee on it. And I think it was his brother that was sitting on it while he was driving. <laughs> We've picked up hookers and put them in the back of the truck. We're like, okay, you gotta sit in the back, though, okay? <laughs> and then we took them to the next corner. jerky with the wheel like <laughs> no this is assholeism I like niceism oh, I like niceism assholeism is making the hooker in the back like jerk all over the place like trying to get her balance and that's what was happening niceism is Honey, I'm sorry. Um, can I give you 50 bucks and you'll just, you know, you just go on your way. And go get a meal with that in the hotel. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not a mean person. I just I laugh at funny things like that though. It like sometimes they're funny to laugh at. You know, come on. I think a lot of the like why people laugh at things. They'll laugh at things because they sound funny. It, it's not like because they practice it every day, whether it's racism or whatever. It's like sometimes <laughs> I don't want to get into it, but it's just crazy. You'll you'll laugh at things all the time, and you don't really like mean to laugh at them, but sometimes you do. <laughs> Oops. But uh, if at first you don't succeed, uh, try my dog dying. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, damn it. That would suck, dude. That's like a negative and a funny one, man. Like, that's two drinks. Okay. Let's do that again. If at first you don't succeed, try a finger up the butt. <laughs> Mrs. Beerman said, nope. <laughs> oh, shit. That was funny. Then the princess kissed the frog, and all of the sudden, the frog was the clown that followed me home from the grocery store. <laughs> Hold on, I need, I need to smoke weed to that one. Thank you, God. Oh, Captain Kirk, have a good night, man. Have a great night, man. Much love, bro. Much love. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I couldn't drink anymore. <laughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes? Oh. What, what, what will end racism once and for all? Let me see. Watching a hot person eat. Drunk man, <laughs> good night, man. <laughs> good night, man. Thank you so much for being here, man. I appreciate it, man. You have a good night. <laughs> Royalty free reggae, man. I wish we could hear it, dude. I don't have any other way to play music. Oh, Cammy, have a good night, man. <laughs> I'm going to stay up for a little while, bit. I don't know what time it is, actually. I have no idea. What time is it, huh? Huh? Something 22? It's 11.22. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'll stay up, you know, I'll stay up for another hour. Yeah, it's all good. Definitely, for sure. Dude, I appreciate, these freaking likes are awesome. You guys are freaking right on, man. I love this, bro. I have no idea what the unlikes look like. <laughs> I haven't really looked. I haven't looked at all. I can't, so... 
Hopefully no one likes. I don't hate anyone, so. <laughs> well, fuck it. What will end racism once and for all? Pretending to be one of the guys, but actually being the spider god. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, dude. This is funny. I'm going to take a little sips. V1, are you still there, V2? Oh, I love you guys, man. I'm sending your tickets soon. I just got paid, so thank God. I can finally get that all figured out. I'm trying to search for a little... Uh, I want to find a little gift for your daughter. So, <laughs> hopefully I can find something right here. Um, I'm going to do that tomorrow, actually. So, I'll send that off uh, tomorrow for sure. If not tomorrow, it'll be Thursday. I don't believe in God. I believe in... I believe in... The graceful path of an autumn leaf as it falls to its earthen cradle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fuck. Ha 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 ha's and uggs. Ha ha's and uggs and you get and you get entered. If it's a ha ha, put ha ha cuz I laughed a lot. If it's a no I didn't it sucked, put a ug. Don't matter how you spell it. And I'll enter you in. It's the only way I can play this game without a panel when we get a panel all you guys are gonna have to have these games with you like whatever we play we're gonna have to figure out how we can buy if if it's a money problem i understand but how we can go to the toy store and go buy those board games because everyone's gonna have to have the same game with them at the same right you know what i mean we could even do cards like blackjack or something where we're all playing blackjack and it's all virtual <laughs> I have like your wife or your girlfriend deal you you'd be the dealer all you see is their hands <laughs> art isn't just painting in a stuffy museum art is alive art is Tender chunks of all white meat, chicken. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah. Little sips for me, holy shit. I gotta last, I gotta last. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm mommy and daddy fighting all the time. <laughs> Damn it, another drink. Okay, little drinks. <laughs> run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm playing my asshole like a trumpet. <laughs> I like this one. I'm going to keep it a little while. Some of it just went on my leg. Awesome. 
<laughs> run, run as fast as you can. You can't you catch me. I'm getting naked too soon. <laughs> I'm gonna get drunk with this game. I can't drink anymore. I'm just gonna like read them because they're funny. Congratulations. You have been selected for our summer internship program. While we are unable to offer a salary, we can offer you 20 cheerleaders laughing at your tiny penis. been selected for our summer internship program while we are unable to offer a salary we can uh, uh, we can offer you a burrito that's just sour cream <laughs> The question alone is dumb. I've got rhythm. I've got music. I've got... Uh, hold on, says here. i got rhythm. I've got music. I've got the government. Who could ask for anything more? <laughs> song <laughs> I've got rhythm I've got music I've got menopause who could ask for anything more <laughs> Scissoring, if that's a thing. <laughs> Little drinks. What sucks balls? Let me see. How sad it will be when Morgan Freeman dies. Never scissors with the ruins. <laughs> what sucks balls? A cheerfulness that bellies a deep seated self loathing.
poor Brandon, still living in his parents' basement. I heard he never got over farting a huge shit out of my pussy. Still living in his parents' basement. I heard he I heard he never got over defeating a gorilla in single combat. <laughs> what the hell? Shit. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. You're awesome, bro. I like you, Houston, man. You're awesome as hell. Welcome, bro. Dude, no problem, man. Take care of me, though. <laughs> I get fucked up sometimes, as you know. <laughs> I don't need, oh, this one's a funny, dude. This is a funny one, dude. This is kind of funny, actually. Everybody in the club. Oh, yeah. I got to do that, actually. That is something I need to do. Everybody in the club. <laughs> Everybody. Fuck, dude, I can't even say this now. Hell no, that's not good. I'm cheating. in the club ain't no Not to sound not to sound like a asshole here, but it did kind of bother me actually by what you said to me right now. I'm gonna be straightforward with you right now, bro. Houston, I'm calling you out, bro. Because I don't view your videos. doesn't mean that I don't want to view your videos. Maybe I can't always go see them. Maybe I'm busy, maybe I'm working, which I do work quite a lot. I get a lot of hours, I get, uh, you know, there's a lot of things. When I have two days off, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing. <laughs> not, not sounding hateful here. I, I guess I'm looking at it in a way that is like, now go watch my videos. It's like, okay, well, I, I gave you a blue wrench. Now go watch my videos. 
that sounded weird to me. I mean, I have the right to unmod you <laughs> real quick. <laughs> but there, there's a certain way of, there's a certain ethic to, to, to wording things and, and throwing out phrases that sound hateful or shitty makes me do unto others as you would have done unto me. So, I'm a nice guy. I'm a very nice dude. I can't keep up with every fucking thing. So... Be it. <laughs> so be it. Cheers. <laughs> no hatred. Just thought I'd say my words and say what I thought I was thinking about. I don't know. I'm thinking about half the time. All I know is I'm on my weekend and I'm feeling good. Don't have to worry about a fucking thing. Cheers, y'all. What's up? How you doing? I'm just rambling. Certain things really uh, sober you up quick. Here, should I push the beard this way and put the glasses this way <coughs> and burp? Right on. Shit, what the hell else can I do here? Can I do some charades? Want me to fucking act out? Let's act something. What the hell can I act out? No. <laughs> I don't like this game, dude. <laughs> I got you, big Houston, man. It's all good, bro. I know, but listen, bro, when you have to ask for a wrench, dude, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't... It's not like I'm always there, you know? I, I don't see, like, everyone's pop-ups, man. So you can't, like pierce through us all and be like, hey, man, y'all, don't do this. Come on, watch my video. Well, maybe we don't see that come up all the time, you know? We don't know. I mean, we're not... A lot of, a lot of these 
streams and stuff that happen are people that regularly come to me. So those are the, a lot of the times, those are the ones that are particularly the ones I communicate with, you know, the ones that are showing constant. And you do, you know, you do, and you are here. And, uh, I, you know, I, I just don't, I, I haven't seen your freaking pop-ups, man. I'm sorry, you know. I, 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 I'm sorry. I haven't seen them. I, I, I haven't... It, not that I shouldn't should sit here and go. Well, I haven't thought to go see them. Maybe I should go to Houston's channel and see his stuff. Yeah, maybe I should say that. Maybe I should think that. But sometimes we need alarms, you know. And I just haven't seen the alarm sometimes. And I'm like, okay. But now that you say that, I want to go see your stuff. Okay, I do. I do. I want to go. I want to go check it out. And I want to support you. Okay? It wasn't that I ever didn't want to support you. It's just that's why I always press for people to ring that bell so that they know when I have new stuff up, you know? And you do, I'm sure. I'm just saying it's just, it's just how it is, you know? More and more people come into your lives and it's harder to follow everyone and it gets crazy and you're just like, fuck, dude. It's it's like the ones that show more participation are the ones that get more attention because you're seeing them all the time and you're communicating with them all the time. And I, when you have so many people to watch over, it's like, it, it's hard. I mean, it, it, I'm not like... I don't have, like, millions of people. <laughs> I mean, I just have over a thousand. But it's hard. It's hard. It means nothing about me hating anyone. But this is a game to a lot of people, and people are like, well, you ain't writing me back or you ain't commenting, so I'm going to unsubscribe from. Well, that's fine, you know? It's all good. You do what you do. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that's just it. And and, and Juggalo, that's right. And um you know, and of course the support though. The support for others that you care about, you know? Especially when you start to build a friendship through these live streams. You know, <clears throat> like with yourself and, and, and all you guys. I mean, just everyone. I, I built a relationship through you guys. And I feel, I don't feel obligated, but I feel like I want to um, send you guys gifts or, or, or say hello or shout you out or whatever the hell it is, you know. Um, just because I want to show my love, you know. You, you guys give me a lot of love yourselves, and I appreciate that. So um, I don't hate people that don't show me love. <laughs> it You know, you subscribe to me once and you never come to me again, and that's cool. At least you stay subscribed. <laughs> but, but I'll, uh, you know, I'll do my best to get back with you and uh, figure it all out. So... Itchy fucking eyes, let me tell you. Ring my bell. Like Todd says, ring my bell. <laughs> yeah, scratching you do. No, seriously. For sure, scratching. Oh, thanks, scratch. I appreciate that. No, Big Houston, I don't hate you, bro. I don't hate you at all, brother. I wasn't, I wasn't speaking out of, you know, out of line or anything. I was, and if I was, I, 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 you know, please, please let me know, and I'll, I'll change my, way of, you know, way of speaking or saying my thing. But, I, I just, I guess I was just speaking my mind. I guess I don't know. I, but um, I don't hate you, man. I know you've got a, you got a, you know, trucking's a freaking hard job, dude. It's a lot of a lot of mind work too, you know. You're constantly on the road, and 
scanning things out, making sure you don't get in wrecks and shit like that. <laughs> I mean, fuck. But when you gotta slow down, you gotta slow down to like 13 speeds. <laughs> Damn it. I bet you have like calves of steel. <laughs> I'm like a Superman calves, dude. I'm gonna call you Superman. What's up, Superman? <laughs> Awesome, bro. You're awesome, man. I don't want you to know that, man. You're awesome, dude. <laughs> Every one of you is, man. Seriously. Yeah, I'm buzzed. Fuck it. Come on. It's freaking Friday for me. Of course I'm going to get buzzed. Damn, y'all. What's up? How many hours have I been on? <laughs> oh, I've been on two hours, almost three hours. <laughs> I was told, uh, V1 told me that I can get on StreamYards going desktop style on my phone and then do a panel that way. So I wonder if I could do that. I, I mean, I, I know I can. I just gotta, like, figure it out. Because Drewski Brewski has been, like, dying to get on my panel, too, also. And Miscellaneous Madness and, um, um, fuck, um, fuck, never mind. I don't want to think about it forever. That'll be fun, though. Fucking grab bag fucking Tuesday, man. Well, it's like grab bag Wednesday now, man. I'm gonna have uh, the noon number is gonna be started. Uh, and this is all in credit to uh, Bamboo. Um, he uh, had mentioned the noon number because I said that I like to start drinking on my days off. I like to drink my beers at noon. Uh, that's when I start, usually drop the coffee and go for the beer um the new number so look out for that I might be doing it tomorrow we'll see but I gotta do a late night one too so that's how it is if you feel like partying tomorrow just hang out It was like freaking old, man. It was like an old joint, man. These things were rolled like a year and a half ago. It tastes like it. Like you get the paper tastes. Mmm. Freaking white paper taste. It tastes like bleached paper. And then, you know, it doesn't even give you time to like, like taste the actual bud. And the bud's so like brown probably from being old. It just, it tastes like... burnt cardboard <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a potty break real quick I'm muted
I gotta get a hat on. It's cold as hell in here. Hey, Gorilla, what's up, man? Backseat Gorilla, what's going on, man? I'm trying to find a hat. Here we go. <clears throat> I found a hat. Make, no sh make sure there ain't no spiders in there. It's getting really cold in here. Oh, chilling. You chilling? Oh, right on, man. I am still up and going. Yeah. We, not because they feel obligated, for sure. <clears throat> Tim, what's going on, man? Puff, puff, pass. <clears throat> Shit, here's a puff, puff, pass. There you go. Pass that. Have my papers. <laughs> I'm be honest. I say a plethora of shit. <laughs> but I don't need anything in return. In fact, don't tell anyone I said. I guess the people should. Yeah. Okay. Keep. Yeah. No. No. Yeah. I got you, bro. Got you, bro. I understand. And thank you. Thank you. Like, thank you very much, actually. That's very nice of you, man. What is up, Backseat? How you doing, Backseat Gorilla Productions? <laughs> How you doing, Sean? Are you doing good tonight? <laughs> Stand up here, man. That is right. What would you like to for Christmas, young child. <laughs> I I'm afraid of children, man. I'd I'd be very worried. I'd be like, oh. Uh oh 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 oh. <laughs> I run when I see children. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have to remember I was a child once too. Yes, that is right, scratching. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah, there won't be, I won't, there won't be a shout out of you. Know, you know, I, I, I definitely won't, that won't happen. <laughs> no, right on. Bitch. <laughs> We're doing a whole lot better in your state. You can be the guy in a home alone. <laughs> I am be when I'm shrilly as fuck. I'm surely St <laughs> sticky hand bandit. <laughs> now the scary guy with the trash can. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's funny, dude. Well, what's up, dude? Backseat, yo, yo. Freaking scratching the edge. What's up? Hell yeah, man. Tim, what's up? <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'm gonna slow down on drinking so I can last a little bit, man. I don't wanna get too dizzy. I'm very high right now, though, dude. Can you tell? Dude, look at my eyes. I can't even up on them. It's like Rocky hit me, dude. It's like the Russian dude fighting Rocky. <laughs> like someone put poison ivy in my eyes. I just don't, I don't want to get too dizzy from alcohol. That shit makes you dizzy. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Why should the read turn from the last Bertha when you went timber? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. That was funny. That was funny, dude. That was funny. That was really funny, actually. Dude, I was laughing at myself. Dude, I can't believe it. Oh, dude, no backseat. You gotta see this, dude. You can, I wish... Oh, my God. I wish I had a streamer so you could share your screen with me. Damn it. Uh, where's that at? I, I, did I... What numbers is it at? I, I can't step out of my fucking phone. Damn, it sucks. <laughs> and we're watching here, man. <laughs> awesome. 2 a.m., wow. Oh, that's crazy. Dang, man. Oh, you work, you work like, through, like, graveyard shift. Recorded on my phone and I have it. I was, I was 17. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. Dude, that's going to go viral as hell. Super duper viral. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing, I have to do a, um, Bamboo wants me to do the new number, the new number, the noon number. It's not gonna be an 11 minute review, but it'll be at least a half hour and some of it with chat, maybe an hour. Where I do a review at noon. My time. Pacific time. <laughs> Three Eastern. Two Central. One. Your time. <laughs> oh. It turned into a graphic like a meteor. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Did they... Did you ever... Does anyone, did anyone ever get any, uh, see when I actually face dived or face planted into my corn dogs? Because I woke up the next morning with ketchup all hard on the rim of my glasses. I would have never known unless my wife wouldn't have said anything, you know. 
I had no idea I hit hard, I hit hard on the, or the, the corn dogs. Those are my favorite food items. I love corn dogs. <laughs> I can't believe I killed them. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I fell asleep again and face planted on my corn dogs. And I had this hat here. Well, one of my hats there had like sauce all over it, and it must have been what planted with me. Sometimes I wake up and I don't know what happened. Like when I do these streams, um, I know it's sad and it sounds crazy, but um, it's it's kind of funny in a way. It makes me laugh a little. Um, because I really do truly, honestly, I'm not, like, drinking water, you know, I'm not, like, drinking, like, a looser end of the beer, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely really the beer, um, and I'm getting really, I'm actually getting buzzed off of it. I've been having nothing but strong ass beers, man. It's been killing me. I gotta like stop that. I try to go as low as I can go. Four and a half is four is actually kind of too low. This damn thing made me sick. Oh, oh, that sounds good, dude. That sounds good. Chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter twink. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. That's making me want to go and get some right now. Oh. That sounds so good. <laughs> I have the munchies from fart held crap. I have like a lot of munchies right now. I wish there was something to eat, dude. I gotta go find something to eat. Hold on, come with me while I try to find something to eat. I gotta figure this out. Where, I, wanna, I don't know where, where my battery is. I might have to plug this in soon. There's like really nothing in here. We have spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> yeah, let's do some spaghetti. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Hey, look at that. That's a great picture, right? Here, let me let me fill up the screen with that. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Quesadillas are easy. This is spaghetti. Uh, so awesome. Sorry, that's loud. Of course, there's never a fork in This is like excellent. 
If you guys got to go get something to eat, you do it, man. Seriously. I mean, look at me. I'm doing it. Mama Ray Ray does it. Y'all been to Mama Ray Ray's channel? Mama Ray Ray, I'm shouting you out. You are cool, sister. She's a cool lady, man. She cooks some damn good southern food. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, does she? Hot sauce? I have this stuff that I had. You know, this stuff is fucking terrible. Uh, at first, it's nice to you, but then after you have a lot of it, your tongue's on fire, man. I mean, like, on serious fire. It's like that elongated, like, it, like it, it's okay at first, and then it kills you. I mean, seriously, like, it's, it's kind of vinegary and, like, good. I don't know. It tastes good, though. It's just really hot. <laughs> Skitty. Skitty for the walk. Oh, I don't want to show you my kitchen. It's nasty in here. Dude. How? If you put up a panel, I'll join it. I just, I'm on my phone. It's so good to see you, though, man. It's always good to see you, Jerski. I mean, if someone else puts a panel up, I'll join it. I just can't. I, it's really hard to control as being the host from the cell phone. Although it can be done. So if you guys want to start one, let me know. And I'll be there. I mean, I, I, I'm all good right now. Oh, you're on your phone too? <laughs> That's funny. I mean, you can go from desktop. That's what a V1 was saying to me. You can go from desktop. You know, if your phone. But then you have to, all these controls you gotta figure out with your phone. It's just, it's too sausage fingery. And I just... It's like, I'd rather just, like, be Lincoln Heavy on here. <laughs> I'm shaking a lot of salt on my food. I like salt. Hell yeah, dude. 50 likes. Look at that, dude. Oh, it's hot as fart. Hot as shit. I wish there was Parmesan cheese, though, man. Ah, oh, ain't nothing like spaghetti and Parmesan cheese. This shit, though, my freaking Mrs. Beer Man made this. This is awesome, man. Freaking she did a good job. It tastes really good. I Here, I'm just... Ah, fuck, it's hot. Here, I'm gonna... It's really hot, dude. So, um, 
Does anyone want to do a a a, a, a Streamyards uh, panel? If you're from like a computer or a laptop, start one up. Let us know the link and we'll join it. Cause I'm down. Drewski, cheers, man. I'm down with joining. You know that from my phone. I just can't. St I can't be the host. Oh, right on, Bamboo. No problem, man. It's been very good having you. Thank you for sticking around, dude. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. It's always good having Bamboo here. And just so you know, I do enjoy your show. <laughs> I like it. When I catch it, I like it. I do. If that gives you any kind of positivity, I really, I really think you should stick with it and go with it, man. I really do. I think it's cool. <laughs> I like, I like history, to be quite honest. Oh, to a panel, yeah. No, that's cool. <laughs> I'm pretty muck banging now, dude. Yeah, we um we tore our cabinet doors off. <laughs> Cause we were gonna work on them, and we never did, so they just never went back up. We have a, it's it's gonna be pretty soon, very soon. We got a lot of things in our minds that we're going to be doing to this kitchen and our bathrooms. Overall, the house. Okay, Drewski. Yeah, no, uh, it says that you have to have a laptop or a desktop, but you can go from the, um, you can go from the uh, desktop view on your phone and you can do it from there. So it looks, it looks like you're doing it actually from another peripheral or another, uh, like, you know, like from your lap, from your laptop or your desktop, but you're actually doing it from your phone because you're choosing to look at it from a desktop view. I just don't want to be the host because there's a lot of clicking and putting up banners and stuff like that that I didn't want to deal with on from the phone perspective. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'd rather just be a guest. Damn, this is, like, really close up. Hey, what's up, y'all? Let me get back a little bit. I had no idea my big old belly was in your face. something sweet. I'm eating spaghetti. 
Oh no, dude. Boils worms. <laughs> yeah. I'm eating spaghetti. Boiled worms. I'm sorry. I have to eat. I was so hungry, man. You know what I wish we had? Was honey and butter. And bread. Well. I can always take uh, some swigs of Swiss Miss Cocoa Mix. Like I did last time. I got bad munchies right now, man. Oh my God. There's, uh, there should be, uh, some, uh, I, um, V1 was talking to me about it. I, I thought it, there would, might be a link or some kind of something you can click on at the bottom corner of your screen on your phone that says to view it as desktop view, but I don't know where that would be because I've, I've never actually seen it. But I was, I was just told that you can do that, so... Maybe I'm totally, like, not saying it right at all. Now we need something sweet. What is sweet in here, man? Cocoa mix. <laughs> here, just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. It's just that much. For a little less. <laughs> now it's kind of dry. It's chocolatey. It's good. I like it. Mmm, yummy. That, like, really works perfectly with the sweet tooth that I was getting. I'm gonna need another dip of that.
camera phone I'm sorry <laughs> yeah three dot icon and click to check okay that makes sense Hell yeah, it does. Yeah, I, I, I would love it if we had sandwich meat and, like, sandwiches. I, I love a, a nice late-night sandwich. Like a big ham sandwich or a big turkey sandwich or something. A turkey would be great because of all the um, sleep up domains that you get from it. That's my own word. Like the sleepiness, what the fuck do you call it? <laughs> the sleep up to mines. The uh what the hell? Uh turbicleca lines? What is what is turkey the tur turbicluck turbicluck cluck 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 turbicleca lines. Uh what what do turkeys sound like when they get plucked? Um, has something to do with turkeys. What's the, the, I guess what I'm trying to say is, what's the, what's the, the thing that makes you sleepy from the turkey? This one here is an amazing fucking beer. And that's all I have to say about that. Tryptophan. Yeah. You get a nice tryptophan sandwich, and you're good to go. That's like having CBD. <laughs> Beer man, my friends look a doctor. Finger me yesterday. I was violated. I know your aversion feels. <laughs> you did that stuff. Uh, yeah. I do tend to eat late meal too every night. It helps suck up the beer for sure. A little sandwich. Or, yep. Exactly. Yep. I gotta have something. Oh, I never drink out of a can. What was I doing, man? Only when I'm drunk. Mother Earth. Buku. Six point eight seven. Six point seven. Oh God, I can't have any more. I can't. I'm going to take a sip of this and let it sit for a, a little while. It's pineapple-y. Pineapples. That's all I got to say about that. It's pineapples. This beer is good. Cheers. Out of five hops. I give it 4.5 hops. It's a go-to. Very pineapple. <laughs> Great fruity pineapple piney. That I found there was a cake with a lot of like chocolate frosting on it at one of the rentals and it was untouched. Usually I'll cut away all the stuff that people have touched because you don't know what they've done with it. But then the other parts that aren't touched, you're like, go to town with that shit. Hell you're like a vampire. You know, eating blood and shit. Um, I mean, you just you you eating that cake up, and there's vanilla ice cream in there, and so you scoop out like the 
parts that people were eating at, and you still have stuff left underneath it. So I'll be digging in that shit. Dude, I'm I I freaking I'm not even high when you know I don't I don't get high when I work. I don't I don't I just I can't drive high. It's not really something I think about doing. Um, so I'm totally sober as a goat when I'm uh, sober as a goat. Sober as whoever the fuck sober. Um, while well, I'm working. But, man, you get me off screen, man. I'm freaking fucked up all the time. (laughs) I just like to play it professional when I'm working. these crazy transitional gra- glasses so you have to like look at certain levels to see a certain like like if you can like when it's cl- clear to look at and that's what it looks like right now <laughs> I have to bring it up really high <laughs> jug it jug it <laughs> I tend not to any more other drugs. Messed up. When I was younger, I was crazy. Yeah. No, I I drove. No, I was kind of I was crazy too. I, I'm glad that I kind of don't do that anymore. I, I take my, uh, not kind of, I, I take my, I put the bike in my back of my car and I take the car to the, my wife's parking lot and then I ride the bike home so that I can have, you know, some time to do my live streams or whatever and drink a little beer and without having to drive and go pick her up, you know. So I'm pretty responsible about shit like that. I don't, I don't like dra- uh, drinking and driving. They're like crazy about that shit. At least in our state they are. They allow weed, but they're crazy about drunk drivers. I don't blame them, though. I mean, drunk drivers, you know, you can fucking kill anyone, you know, you're paying attention, you know? Like, fuck. Even, I mean, weed, you get high, you know. I, It's kind of a, a more, a, a little different, <laughs> a little different high, though. You know, you're not, like, like totally, you're, you're actually more alert. <laughs> you're more careful. But... Alcohol, though. I, I mean, I've, I've had that proven to me, though. You know, I had some uh, vodka and a little too much. And was sent on my way, and I ended up hitting a, a center divider, and and that that was... That was fucked up. Thank God that nothing else happened. So that 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 really, that was a wake up call, and that that was something that will never happen again. So, <laughs> oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, some smoking weed's cool, man, too, you know. And I know you got to drive, you know, you're driving trucks, so it's kind of hard to 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 go that route. <laughs> Even on your days off, though, too, right? Are they, are they pretty harsh with drug testing and stuff? Or I'm sure they are. 
even with like government jobs you gotta be real careful too you know because uh, you can get fired in a heart i mean not actually since they unscheduled it you probably aren't in such a deep boat anymore but i mean if i'm talking out of my ass please let me know because uh I'm, I'm pretty sure i heard that they descheduled it <laughs> Like, doesn't have a schedule anymore. Which allows our government to be able to test it now. And get paid to test it. And see what the properties are of it. And what it can do for you. Even though they already knew. Those testing dollars are going to come from our taxes. It's our tax money paying for these doctors to find out about weed when we already knew about weed. <laughs> you know what's messed up is when you're... you're making payments on your uh the taxes you owe right this is a situation that i'm running into right now and yet when i go to pay it and i see the balance double you haven't paid any of this like um we have a payment plan and you know it's just a robot but Dude, seriously, I, I, you guys built interest on this total when you knew all along I, I, I had a payment plan to pay this off. What, what is the deal with this fifty percent interest every two weeks? But no, they're they're bad. This is the state too, our state, Oregon. Federal, it's like, I owe, like, maybe $30 more. <laughs> it's like a very small amount. So that's not hard to pay. <laughs> I didn't have much to pay for, so I was like, well, let's just do payments, because I don't really want to, like, give you $300. <laughs> All at once. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I bet they are testing like crazy. Some similar stuff. Let's do those. Yeah, no, seriously, dude. No, they're they're saying that I haven't paid a damn thing, dude. And I have been paying every month the twenty five dollars a month that I told them I would pay. I should be down to like seventy bucks right now from one hundred and seventy that I owed them, which isn't much, you know. You're hearing of people that are owing like seven thousand. They're like, how the freaking crap are you doing this? But. I mean, I it, crooks, man, for real, for real, man. I don't, I don't know whether to hate what is coming out of. I can't hate our country, you know. I can't hate what people fought for for our freedom today, you know. But I hate the greed. Um the 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 lack of understanding the lack of wanting to work well i guess they try to work with you but when they work with you they still send you letters saying you owe like five times more than what you were originally owing well that's helping me you haven't seen one bit of my money then right 
So that paid like an hour. So the guy gets $25 an hour. So he got his hours, his hour paid. So I paid for an hour for one of your government workers to work. And fuck. I mean, what the hell? I, where did my money go? Did it go to the balance? Or did it go to paying all you people? Sorry. Well, <laughs> if you guys start a panel, let me know, man, because I'll jump in. Seriously. I'm going to be going on tomorrow night, too. Um, I actually have kind of, like, a thing. I think, like, laptop's trying to work now. So I got to, I gotta like, look at it in the morning. Honestly, if I get this thing working by tomorrow, man, I might. I'll probably do a stream there for sure. So we'll see. If not, by phone. But fuck it. Maybe I'll try and stream yard it from phone tomorrow. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Damn. <laughs> two and a half hour. <laughs> Is that two and a half? Two ninety? Is that two and a half? Yeah. I think it is two and a half hours, two hours, 45 minutes. <sighs> well, shit, guys. I might wrap it up. And, um, it's just, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, get, I'll try and get back on tomorrow. I'm going to try and do a, a, a nooner one, like I said. And I'll definitely do a night one. Just trying to get my watch time and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy my lives so that we we can laugh and have fun and, and, and drink and smoke pot <laughs> and have a good time. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. But no, uh, thank you very much and um, you guys have a good night. I'm going to end this. Much love to you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for your support for your love and I love my network I love this I love the community I love it so night night <laughs> cheers